Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Submitted for the approval. I'm oh, yeah. afraid I of the dark. I can't really remember. I, yeah, I'm... It had an elaborate opening. I love that show. I don't know. I'm afraid of, of the close blowing. We're in a pandemic, Brian. That's yeah. true. I'm sorry. Keep your part particulates <laughs> over there. That was rude. It was rude. It was rude, <laughs> and it was thoughtless. And I apologize to everyone. Uh, very, very sorry. God, I love your lips. Wow, words. Your lipstick looking good, Brian. No, yep, thank you. Um, What's language? I try. And Stephanie's as well. Yeah. Yes. I was and waiting for somebody to well. say it. <laughs> Brian and I are practically matching in our lipstick. I'm just saying. <laughs> Brian's lipstick, right, Kay? Mm-hmm. Yes, Brian. Well, I'm trying to. I'm sucking up to the wrong person to not die, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we, we have to hide you, you might have gotten so, it wrong. I'm yeah, oh, I definitely got it wrong. So, um, hey, everybody. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Episode 15. Because we count the episodes again. Very exciting. This is. Monster Hearts Monday, also known as Gehenna Valley, where we play the fantastic game Monster Hearts 2. A game about uh, spooky people in high school being spooky and sexy. It's fantastic. You're going to love it. If you don't know what's going on, well, I guess you should have watched the intro. uh, Otherwise, ask some questions in the chat. They're they're friendly people. They'll tell you what's happening. You'll be fine. Oh, my God, yes. Chat, please give us your interpretation of what has happened so far, chat. But (laughs) also, I feel like um, if you don't know what's going on, it might be even more fun, frankly. Honestly. It's going to get a little wild. It's going to get a little wacky. You came in on the right episode. Like, oh. we're just hitting strides. I mean, every episode is the right episode to come. That's right. It's like, like last time when you told me, oh, and then the Raiders who joined, and I was like, like, oh. <laughs> cool. The Raiders, yeah, the Raiders who came right at the, the nip knop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nip knop. <laughs> Good times. Let's do, um, should we shill? Uh, shill real quick. Quick shill. Down, down below right now, there's links right below this box space. If you're watching on Twitch, I don't think we have links in all of our video descriptions on YouTube. But uh, check out the Twitch channel if you're watching this on YouTube a week or so later. Okay, y- y'all know how to Google things. Google us. But for everyone on the Twitch, you're gonna find links to the website, the Patreon, the Humble Partner Store, the Discord, the shop, the YouTube, the donate button, the Twitter, the credits. Oh my gosh, so many, so many links. things. So exciting. There, there could be more if you wanted to sponsor us. That's true. Uh, send me cookies for money. And um, wait, no, that sounded wrong. Send me both <laughs> cookies and money. I like that. And you can be a cookie sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I have a send birthday coming up. Send us things. Out. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, if you go to the Discord, you can talk to us, find out what's going on, um, speculate between games. Every so often, we even watch an episode live so that I can pretend I'm taking notes. And if you go to the shop, you can find our our Gehenna merchandise, but you can also find Gehenna Valley-specific merchandise, like the lovely Lumberjanes shirts, which I am not uh, wearing today. I am hey, but oh, hey, yeah. Aid is Aid. Aid lift show up. Us, show us that. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> lift up your shirt, <laughs> Aid. Lift up your shirt. Oh. That's a different show, everybody. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, she's, no. she's lifting the shirt up uh, words uh-oh. towards the screen. I know. So I hit the wrong the button in panic, oh. and now I got to do it. It's all right. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> Ashley. Whoa. <laughs> Wolf, I mean, Wolf's been real thirsty. Wolf's been real thirsty lately, but I wasn't expecting it from you, too, Ashley. Twitch has sanctioned. We have rules, Ashley. Y'all. I break the rules. Distract the audience while I fix it, okay? Meaning to fade to black. That's a very good one. It was like. Faded to black. <laughs> so, so audience, who do you think's dying tonight? Oh yeah, someone probably, right? I mean, come on. Vote now. Vote now. Who do you want to see die tonight? Strong it's like the back start. of the comics. We can, who's our Jason Todd? Uh, Marissa. <laughs> we have a vote yeah. for Marissa. Oh. <laughs> I yeah, can't that's, believe that's a good vote. Marissa. <laughs> Corey thought they were the bees. I mean, it's good money. But uh, I like Marissa. I like Marissa too. I mean, I kill yeah, the I like people that I too, like, so. but... This uh, is fair. Did you like Claire? Claire. No, we, we're, we're not cool. talking about other sorry, games. Sorry, sorry, like, sorry, who's sorry. Claire? We don't, we Come don't. on. So, uh, for those of you just joining us who don't know the long history of uh, the player who plays Corey, uh, <laughs> uh, 
our, our professional lovely, hype man K. Yeah, that's right. Professional <laughs> hype man K has played in many games of mine, um, and uh, we have made a rule that we don't talk about not Gehenna Valley Monster Hearts on this channel because uh, we would get it would get really confusing really fast. Also, I am easily distracted. Someone just voted for Dixie. That's hilarious. But I also see oh, killer. three <laughs> votes for Bex, which I know uh, is against the rules, I believe. So. Yes, it's against the rules. Hey, I don't know about that. Rules I, are made to be broken, right? Question mark, Feral? I fixed all the screens, so you know what that means. Woo. It's time for last time on Kahena Valley. Valley, 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 Valley. Valley. Great job, great job, everybody. Good teamwork. Mrs. Abel thinks Bridget's parents are part of Castile's cult. Corey enters the health room to try and get information on Mrs. Onassis. He eventually gets her contact info from the front office and sends her flowers. Absolving guilt. We learn that Corey That's is how. actually in health class first period. He's just <laughs> never actually shown up to health class <laughs> first period. First week of school. Mrs. Abel tries to get Bridget to cancel her party because it's not safe. <laughs> Bridget doesn't really uh, say she's, like she's going to do that. Uh, yeah. Donovan tells Krina about the lumber mill. She plans to bring Corey. Krina plans to bring Corey. There are no gym uniforms. Aid has strong feelings on men's shorts. Yeah, I love how you call that out. It I was a significant attacked. portion it, it of did. the episode. <laughs> uh, Spoke about it quite a bit. Because y'all made me feel weird about it. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm with you. Like, like, not a fan of too long shorts on men. Like, show some thigh. We appreciate it. But do you like them on women or non-binary? Wait, always, pals? always. <laughs> I'm always done for more leg. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm it's at long pants, I have... but. Oh. Anyway, like, I have uh, short legs. So everyone goes to junior yes, class gym. Let go. <laughs> everyone goes to junior class, class gym, gym class. class. Mrs. Abel is teaching, and Mr. H assists. The activity is dodgeball. Um, I'm sorry. Can we do that again? But uh, Stephanie, can you do like a, the Karina scream of excitement? Oh, I was trying to like save your ears. I no, thought about I, it. I, it occurred to just, me. Okay, we will move forward then. It's okay. It just it felt wrong. Uh, Bridget I mean, connects I to Bex. Like me too, but... Too late now. Now we're talking about Bex. The moment's passed. Bridget connects to Bex's mind, which freaks Bex out a fair amount. Bridget tells them about the lumber mill. Um, I've mentioned the lumber mill a couple of times in these notes already, without specifying what it is, which is not a great for last time. You know, if we're trying to catch people up. But essentially, Bridget uh, wants a ton of people to meet her at a lumber mill tonight. No reason. Don't worry about it. Donovan and Wolf are captains for picking dodgeball teams. Chase gets picked first. Karina was very excited about the whole thing. Milo is picked last. Donovan barks orders during dodgeball, making sure Bridget is protected. He then winks at Wolf to knock him off guard before getting him out. Krina hits Chase particularly hard with a dodgeball. He walks away dizzy. He might have a mild concussion, but uh, no one really seemed to care. Uh, Corey it's not has. What? So it's not his first. No. He plays yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> He's used to it. Walk it off. If he can take it to the bench, he's fine. That's the rule. <laughs> Corey has lucid visions of Donovan feeding, Karina laughing at someone's misfortune with the other Fay, and Wolf <laughs> using minor lies to get out of trouble, before seeing Wolf getting anointed in blood. I feel like there should be some minor clarification that Corey originally thought Karina had turned someone into a mud puddle, because that explains other things. Yeah, I can't explain that, though. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Krita beats Donovan in a final one-on-one -on -one dodgeball showdown. Winner! Woo! See, I, I knew it was the right choice to pick Krita. Don't worry. Rob makes excuses about Donovan losing by saying he would not want to hurt Krita. <laughs> Krita has no such compunctions. <laughs> Especially dark as self, Krita. Oh, he was definitely they trying to win. win. But... <laughs> He doesn't want to hurt Karina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Karina yeah. will win at anyone's expense. <laughs> Donovan and Wolf kind of flirt in the locker room, but no, they still don't kiss. Corey tells Donovan about his visions. 
Donovan <laughs> bites Corey's nipple and feeds. It's hot. Donovan feels guilty. And also aroused. Fucking famine. Well, that's the it's hot part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wolf and Dixie head to Gehenna Gaming. C Krina talks to Corey about how she was peer pressured into laughing at the kid in the mud puddle. Corey gets his phone back and learns that his sister is missing. And then we have a few notes for uh, the MC. That was fun. Wasn't that fun? Y'all like that? Yes. Uh, let's see. There was no editing this time. Too proud of us. Uh, yeah, well, just one. Just one bit got edited, but it's all right. Uh, da -da -da. Well, I did some editing before, but there was no editing during the show. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's very exciting. Professional streamers. Professional streamers. <laughs> uh, okay, lots of talks in the chat, but nothing I have to tell everyone. It'll be fine. Something about a nipple. Yeah, don't worry about it. Whatever. It's hot. You know, for my YouTube watchers, I think you know by now that I try to read the important comments so you feel included. And I'm not saying that the chat isn't being interesting right now. I'm just saying it's not entirely relevant to what's going on. Try harder, chat. Anyway, uh, you know, let's go to the check-in, because last time I skipped it to be dramatic, and then we forgot to do it. So let's do the check-in real quick. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can get it done um, in less than half an hour. We can do it. My faith. Corey! Yo. You got no conditions. Which None is remarkable, us. considering I know. how emotional you are. Yeah, remember the beginning of the game, Brian? I had oh, like seven. There was a bunch. I don't think you had seven, but there was a bunch. Like six. There was like four. I mean, six. these are all numbers, so I suppose like is true. <laughs> it's uh -oh. the right order of magnitude, <laughs> at least. So. You got two strings on Wolf. You got a wolf, smattering wolf. of ones. See. You got zero harm, one Correct. XP towards your third level up. And you are not your darkest self. I'm not. Donovan! <gasps> what mm. question? What? You didn't ask the last question. Yeah, you know what? I've Listen, here, we're going to go back to the sheet, all right? Now all okay, of you in, in the I'm chat removing it. can see. I'm removing it. I'm removing it. Cause okay. It was funny at first. I thought okay. I was particularly funny for adding it, but it's gotten repetitive. I think That's we, solid. We've all agree. We all know that they're a thing. Dating, okay? yeah. I mean, Whether at this they point. want to call Excuse it dating me. or not is different. Yeah. Not dating. They're Ugh. third flooring with emotions. They are. They are yes. emotionally connected Friends to each other. Friends with benefits and also strong emotional attachment. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this sounds better. Yeah. Corey likes this, this definition slightly better. Donovan. <laughs> Is still a judgy mom from. Oh no, we were going to clear judgy. Yeah, we? we. Yeah, we talked about that. Based on, you know, that really close. You know, heartfelt conversation. You did. There was there you was did. a heartfelt conversation with an. There impact. was. Right. I, and they definitely also, got close to the heart. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, as as much as we uh, inflect our words, there actually was a lot of emotional back and forth there. It just yes. ended with nipple biting. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, as it does sometimes. Yeah. Sense. Yeah. That's just Donovan and Corey's friendship. I mean, nipple biting isn't that and deep why talks. you have emotional conversations. Oh, I was going to say, isn't that why you have nipples? I think that is why men have nipples, to feed right. Donovan. Oh, God. <laughs> just, oh, God. Just You've quiet. got seven strings on Corey, speaking of which. Five on Wolf, three on Marissa, three on Mauricio, and a bunch of other ones. You've got zero harm, two XP towards your third level up, and you are not your darkest self. Not yet. Not yet, kid. Not yet. No. Karina, you are chosen. You are Sophie. And you are a scene queen, which is pretty exciting. Um, I love all of those conditions. It's pretty good. I do, Please too. never <laughs> lose any of them. I mean... They're very Krita conditions. They are. <laughs> uh, you've got three strings on Bridget, three on Castile. And a forward on Castile. Oh my gosh. Uh, two Korea's on scary. Emily, and you get some ones there. Yeah, I mean, you got a good, you got a good layout of strings, really. Mm -hmm. You got some options. You've yeah. got one XP to each your fourth level up, and you are your darkest self. I am. Because uh, no one's felt your fairy judgment yet. No, nope, not yet. We're working on that. Let's see here. 
Wolf, Wolf, my boy, you got the condition dedicated. You've got yes. six strings on Bridget, four on Donovan, one on Krina, zero harm, three XP towards your third level up. You are not your darkest self, and despite some breakups, your true love is still Bridget. For now. Thank you. I say, I say, like, it's slowly becoming more and more ominous. For it now. is. Like, it's like, it, it's you know, less confident. Something's, you know. Something's gonna happen sooner or later, I'm sure. Speaking like of sooner buzzsaw. or later. Yeah, bunny. Bridget. <laughs> Sorry. Bunnies Bridget. don't belong in buzzsaws. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no! Things happen! That's Things happen. like... <laughs> Frigid, you got five strings on Wolf still. Mm -hmm. You got some ones. You got one harm, one XP towards your third level up, and you are not your darkest self. I'm not. I'm what? Nice boo! Kind, Don't I'm... boo that! Come on! That was, that was a woo, not a boo! Oh, Ooh. I thought you said woo! Boo. boo! No! No, just because uh, it means Wolf hasn't gotten some. Recently. Yeah. And I say recently, within the past, like, day. Right. Because, <laughs> like, like, a decade and four years. I guess. Because we're averaging, what, what is it, five, did we start on Tuesday? Or, we start on Tuesday, right, not Monday? Yeah, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Yeah, that sounds like a me thing. So that's, we're averaging four episodes a day? You know, shit happens. Yeah. So it feels That's like okay. a long time for us because we do four episodes a month. A month. <laughs> yeah. It's a damn month. But These are the important only, moments of your life. Right. Dated Bridget for a couple of days and now it's over. <laughs> High school. Uh, Where days feel like months in dating. <laughs> uh, they were very full days. Fairness. They were. A yeah, lot has happened. A lot, a, lot, happened. a lot has happened in a very like. So yeah, where are we where are we going first, Brian? Oh yeah, so very first thing, uh, we're gonna do an establishing shot because we're very cinematic on this show. Um, we flash back to Wolf and Dixie getting in Wolf's car, laughing for some reason. Um, we can't hear what they're talking about, but something was funny, I'm sure. And they pull away and the camera spins and you see Bridget sitting in her car. She drove to school today, just watching them leave. And Bridget, as we zoom in on your face, what emotion are you expressing? Um, I think just anger, like her eyes get low. She's just like, her face is turning red and she just pulls her car in reverse and like squeals out of the parking lot. Nice. I love it. Where are you heading, Bridget? I'm headed home. I need to get some stuff before the bumper mill. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems fair. Uh, and uh, Donovan, where, where did we leave you? Donovan was headed back into the locker room now to uh, change up. Right. And then, because theoretically then after that you're going to get ahead of gaming. Yep. Great. So that takes care of you and you and you. So now we jump right back into the moment where we left our other two players, uh, which is Corey and Krina sitting on a bench or couch near vending machines, and Corey about to call his brother in desperation. Right? Does that sound good? More like concern than desperation. But desperation! Like... Yeah. Uh, where did I put those those characters? I didn't I didn't rearrange my slides. They don't have images so. if it helps you. No, I, I found them. Thank you. Um, I do tend to remember for some reason that they don't have images, but you know what I picture them as? This yeah, do tell. This is gonna be an obscure reference. Um, I probably won't get it then. But no, okay. I, I think a lot of people won't. But I'm gonna tell everyone out there in to the uh, Google machine. The uh, what do we call? It? I don't remember. Do we have a name for our fans? We were, bunnies. I, no, we decided not bunnies. Bunnies are yeah, we don't I um, like bunnies. Um, students. Can we call? We have maybe students for now. Canyons. No, that's weird. 
Lumbers. Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks. I like that. Yeah, Let's like use Jane's though, because it comes off okay. more often, and yeah. then we can claim yeah. that Jane's is gender Jane. neutral yeah. and piss off people. It'll be great. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, I like that. Yeah, yeah Lumberjanes. Lumber so, uh, Lumberjanes, I'll tell you, I'll tell you real quick uh, for the three of you that will get this. Uh, in uh, 2019, uh, X-Men comic books, there was uh, two new students uh, that we learn were uh, actually planted by the villain Ahab. Uh, that is correct of uh, Moby Dick fame. It was a villain based off of the guy from Moby Dick. Um, long sitting villain, and they both have kind of pale skin and silver hair, and they're twins, but one is a boy and one is a girl. Um, and uh, it turns out, of course, like I said, they were planted by Ahab, so it was all a farce, really. They should never have really been students, and they caused many X Men to turn. It was bad news. But yeah, that's what I picture is like these two twins with silver hair. Uh, even though I, there's no reason for them to have silver Yeah, hair. I was going to say, they're like Greeks, Grecian, Basque, Spanish. Like. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to have to fix that mental image. We'll give them dark brown, See, my thought hair. was like a male-female version of five from Umbrella Academy. Yeah, so, and that's kind of what I was picturing their clothes to be like, which is funny. Um, was like the Umbrella Academy uniform, mm -hmm. even though nobody goes to a school with uniforms. I, you know what? They do. Y'all, now you know my, what they look like in my head. Now you figure out what they look Chat, like in your what head. what do they look like in your head? Anyway, yeah. Corey <laughs> takes the phone, and he's he's hitting Paul on a Feliciano's number. Feliciano! And just, great. Just ring, ring. Hey, he's not on a motorcycle, y'all. This is a step up. This is, this is great. It's great. Um, they are twins. They're not just like twins. They are twins. They are twins. Right. Um, sorry. So... Like twins from the Northern Water Tribe. Is that an Avatar reference? Oh, that's an Avatar reference. Okay. That's a mm, that's a mood. I haven't I like watched that twins. one yet. I'm sorry. Um, <gasps> Do it. I, I, all right. So you call Feliciano. Feliciano uh, picks up like right away. Uh, and he's like, it, 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 Felici he goes, hey, Corey, where are you? I'm, I'm at school. What, what's going on? Where, how long has she been missing? Where? How did she go missing? Aren't you guys like attached? And he goes, yeah, well, she went to her locker and I went to my locker and then we usually meet back up and we go home, but then she never met back up with me and then I went to her locker and I couldn't find her and now the school's practically empty and she's not here. Oh, okay, okay, so you're, are you st I'm still at the school? I'm still at the school. All right, um, did, did, did she say anything? Did she have plans? Did, 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 doesn't one of you do tennis? Didn't, did, did she have practice? Do you have practice? No, no one has practice today. It's the first Friday of the school year. She was supposed to meet up with me like I she always sports. does. Okay, all right. So where, where, what locker is she? And I like stand up and grab Karina's hand. Well, she's not at her locker, Corey. I yeah, but I'll meet that. you at her locker because I'm also in the school. Okay, fine. It's locker 326. And I just start like walking back. Okay, tell me what what did you do today? Have you done anything? Has things been going on? Like what? No, we went to school, Corey. I don't I don't know. Yes, you went to school. But how have things been at home? Like could she have left without you? Did you anger her? Do you no, guys get angry no, at each other? No. No, the last weird thing that happened was you in the temple. That was weird. Um yeah. and yeah, I'm just dragging you know, it wasn't. And I'm just dragging Krina, like Walk, walk, walk. Let's drag. Corey, like, are walk. you cool with this dragging? Yeah, Corey, oh, take I'm just like shoving Hattie Bud in my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. When we also I'm lost all, I'm almost done with heroes. the second one. I got one more. <laughs> you bought three Hattie Buds? Corey I bought but... one, and I asked Corey for, to give, buy me a second one, and he bought me two. Oh. Can you imagine buys you two honey buns, <laughs> fam? I, I forgot about that. I, I am so apolo <laughs> apologetic. So, yes, yeah. uh, chat. Uh, Corey did get his phone back. I'm not sure that Karina intended it to be permanent, uh, but did she get there were some scary messages uh, yeah. there. And uh, Karina uh, is such a mood and has honey buns and soda, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, great. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I do I'm like rushing. those packaged honey buns. They're they're pretty tasty for crappy oh, pack so packages. So, so I get to the locker, what do I see? I get to the, <laughs> so to the locker. So at the locker, what this does Corey is say? important. Um, we well, see uh, your brother, uh, Feliciano, standing there waiting for you. Uh, does, does anything look weird with the locker? Does no, anything... it looks like a regular locker. All right. Okay. How long ago did you did you see her last? Because I saw her at the I end of last period. That was like twenty minutes ago. Let's go. All right. Have you called 
Her? Yes. Then, yeah, well, obviously. Have you called mother and father? But no. Well, yes, but... Uh, like, I called the house, and one of the maids picked up. Um, and they haven't seen her, but of course they haven't seen her, because why would they have seen her yet? It's... It, it, yes. Yeah, so who is she friends with? Does she have friends? Yes, of course she, she has friends. friends. I don't know what you people do. Um, but if, what am I going to do? Am I supposed to... She's not picking up her phone. She's not answering texts. And I'm, I'm going to call her friends and be like, she's been gone for 20 minutes. They don't, they don't... I try and call her. Great. I uh, like, he's talking, he's talking. I just try and call her. Uh, it's ringing. Mm -hmm. and... really, so while, while Corey's at the phone, I would turn to Felicia and be like, 20 minutes and you're panicking? It's very, very unusual. They don't separate, I whisper as it's ringing. <laughs> and I'm not panicking. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Sounds an awful lot like panic. They got a swig of soda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to roll cold, uh, Krita? Sure. Start us off right. <laughs> if by right you mean failing to roll and getting some XP, sure. Yeah. <laughs> stop stop ex being so fast. Uh, seven. I did not fail. Oh, congratulations. No XP. Choose one from <laughs> below, but you come across poorly. Uh, um, you can gain a string. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get a string. Oh, cool. A string on Feliciano. Yep. And you get a condition in return. Boop, 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 boop. Because that's what you need. Yes. I'm just saying that the Castile family has given me some very excellent conditions. So. Uh... <laughs> All three of these came from the Castile family. Oh, really? <laughs> Castile family got it going on. That's kind of funny. Um... They're a very good family. You shouldn't destroy them. <laughs> Ooh, I, I don't want to use Judgy again, but I kind of want to do something between Judgy and Heartless. Um, you can consider it. <sighs> that's... Um... Come on, come on, Lumberjanes, give us a. Like, no, a judgy Lumberjanes, I'm looking at you. I didn't say that, but that's what I am doing. Uh, I don't know. All right. Um... Evaluating something. Kind of no. no. Aloof. Aloof. I don't know that you're aloof. Side eye giving uh, side eye. I don't know. I I feel like judgy is just the way to go. I'm gonna give you heartless and not heartless. Uh, not apathetic. Not heartless. No. Apathetic. No, you're not heartless. That's the thing. You're just mean. What um, was what was the one that we gave? Unsympathetic. Again, give him. I like. I do like unsympathetic. Let's do unsympathetic. unsympathetic. That's yeah. a good in between. Because mm -hmm. um, then you have to. Not dating. That way you have to work to get rid of one of your it conditions. Like this is proving unsympathetic is. Good, I keep I like. thinking of. I, I'm trying to think of a word for it, but unconcerned with mortal issues. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where I was kind of going with a loop. Yeah. Loose, yeah. You know, like above yeah. it all. I, um, I feel like I think. Oh, above it all. I like above good. it all. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. give you mm -hmm. above it all. I feel like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good work, everybody. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Professional streamers. Um, so right. I'm, yeah. Yeah, and it finally, it, it, her voicemail picks up. Uh, Elias, it's Corey. You're worrying Feliciano. Where are you? Uh, call him, not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Feliciano's like, so anyway, since I'm not panicking, you can like go home or whatever. I just wanted to see if you found her. Why would I find her? No, if she's not with you, that's that's concerning. I should care about that. And he says that, and he kind of like looks at Karina, like double checking. I should I should care about this, right? Like this, like sister, yeah. You know, I mean, does she like ever skip class and like go somewhere? Does she spoke? I don't but think I, so. I would know. I don't think she. They do but that's that. why I'm asking. Like, does she spoke? Does she ever skip class? Does she go yeah. to the third floor? Yes, we do. We skip class and you skip okay, class. so if you check the third floor of the smoking spot she wouldn't do that she doesn't do that you don't you, do that people smoke on the third floor no they have you sex on the, the third, third floor. floor and the smoking spot i i i checked the smoking spot but why i didn't wouldn't go up on the third floor there's nothing on the third floor oh god no, you, don't, you, <laughs> you stay here you stay here or actually, we'll you know, um, he'll, he'll learn. He'll learn anyway. No, if, if I go with you alone, we're not gonna get anything done. Um, yeah. And I, 
<laughs> and I'm like, come on, Feliciano. And I go to like the nearest staircase and we're, we're going up to the third floor. Okay, great. So y'all are going to go up to the third floor. Great. Pin. Bink. Um, Donovan, uh, that's enough time, I think, for you to get changed. Now that you're changed and no one has told you that they're panicking, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to head to Gehenna or are you going to do something else? Yep, get in my car and head to Gehenna Gaming. Great. So we see Donovan get in his car. Nothing's going on. No worries. And um, play some upbeat music again. I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah. And don't it feel good. Maybe hey. maybe a bit more house. That, karaoke. that was a free karaoke for mm. fans out there. You're welcome. Hey, let's talk about Wolf. Wolf, uh, yes. you get in the car with our favorite Richard Dixie. Dixie. Um, ooh, I don't know if we can say that because we know. I was about to say, do, yeah, yeah, you can't say that, Brian. We our like favorite fictional Dixie. Our favorite fictional Dixie. That's right. You get in the car with our favorite fictional Dixie. Um, what are you gonna talk about? Yes, um, okay, just leave. I can't just leave in the middle of the street. It's okay. We can we can see mirror. you in the mirror, so it's fine. You're still there, basically. But I forgot to bring this stuff over. Brian's trapped in the mirror, everybody. Oh, it's the uh, Fey. Oh God. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think that he's kind of quiet for a little bit. Okay, that's fun. Um, it's not a long ride. Partially, yeah. Partially because he's a little awkward, and partially because he's still kind of down in the dumps a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. Great. I don't know, does Dixie so, like yeah, say anything? I think if you're going to be quiet, Dixie will break the ice because she doesn't like the quiet. Good. And she finally goes. So, after this, do you want to go key Bridget's car or something? Yes! Um, no, that's that's okay. I I mean, thanks for, for trying to, to cheer me up, but um, I, I think it would be better if we didn't. Dixie goes, yeah, that was, I was me joking again. That's. Oh, I, I knew that. <laughs> Wolf gives like a very, very small smile. <laughs> um, uh, no, actually, um, something came up and I, I can't hang out for too long, but, um, what? you know, I didn't want to cancel. What? What's going on? Uh, just something with my family came up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I get it. You probably can't talk about some of that stuff. Yeah, it's just... I mean... I don't want to, like, worry you with my problems, so don't worry about it. No, it's, it's alright. Your dad's uh, kind of uh, an infamously um, person, infamously person. And uh, I don't need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I don't really like talking about it that much. Oh, that's cool. Uh, great, we're here anyway. Uh, oh. Super. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> I say as I'm driving. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> great. So you all get out, and you head into Gehenna Gaming. And uh, one of the uh, owners, uh, Ian, is at the front desk. And uh, just a little gives you a wave. Um, and as you get in, um, oh, let me ask you this, Wolf. Wolf, uh, this is uh, the comic book slash gaming store. Uh, what are you? Uh, does Wolf go here at all? Ever? No, I don't think he's ever been here. He's before. never even entered the store. No, I don't think he has many like super geeky like hobbies like he plays video games every once in a while but i don't think he's really into like comic books or like tabletop like board games or anything like mm -hmm. that well so i don't think he's ever been here no so you probably don't notice anything but you can see dixie's face um change as you go in so you go in and um it's uh it's not that quiet. It's not super loud, but it's not that quiet. There's already at least like 10 people talking somewhere in the store excitedly. And really all you can see when you first come in is the front register and then uh, like those big bookcases you see in like a, a Barnes and Noble. 
um, with it, and they've got books and comics on them. Um, but but Dixie's like immediately upset by something, and she turns around and she's just like, "Wolf, let's go." What's wrong? What's what's up? Because I, I just forgot what day it was. That's all. Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Looking around the room, do I see? Do I just see like people? <laughs> like no, I mean you, you can't you can't really see the full place because oh, of the, way okay. the the cases are set up. Okay. Um, so you're not really sure exactly. Like the voices are coming from the back somewhere. Okay. Um, and she's just like, uh, yeah. Well, Friday is. Listen, the middle school is going to get out soon, and they're all going to play Magic the Gathering. That's like that card game, right? Yeah, it's like a card game. And let me tell you, it brings out the worst in people. It breaks up friendships. <laughs> people lose their life savings. And, and sometimes they just forget how to interact with other people. So we should go somewhere else. This is not going to be the correct place to do this. Is this like... It sounds a lot like like poker or gambling or something. It, and you can see uh, Ian standing up at the register, and he's kind of like starts chuckling. And he's like, Dixie, don't be mean, all right? You've got <laughs> other knights here. Magic Knight is very popular. If you're, I don't recognize your friend. I bet um, they would love to learn. Uh, no, that's okay. We're, we'll just we'll head off somewhere else. <laughs> we'll just try right. to like make it less awkward. And Dixie will grab your arm and kind of like start pulling towards the front yeah, door. Yeah, and, and he'll he'll follow. And you um, hear Ian yell after you. We do free beginner decks. Get you started. Doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> Wolf just like leans in to Dixie as they're headed out, and he's like, is that how they, like, get you addicted to it? She goes, absolutely. First one's free. It is a fucking horrifying scam. Monstrous. <laughs> um, and then as they, like, step out of the actual building, he's like, um, so, well, I have, where else, where should we go? Maybe, like, the, I don't know, the park or something? Yeah, you see, y'all step out, and you suggest the park, and as you step out, uh, Xavier is, like, right in front of you. Um, and he's like, oh, sorry, uh, gotta go in, um, <laughs> super, just super awkward. Yeah, I think Wolf will be like, okay, and just, like, step off to the side to, like, let him by. Uh, yeah, and he, and he uh, and he, and he kind of looks at you and he goes, you're, you're coming in, right? No, we were just leaving. And Dixie Actually. says, yeah, no, I'm not going to that shit show. You know that, Xavier. Fuck off. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like that. So uh, Xavier is obviously insulted, but he heads in. And um, uh, Dixie kind of like looks up the sky for a second. And she's like, yeah, I guess a park is fine. Wolf looks up like, does it look like it's gonna rain or something? No, it doesn't. There's a few clouds in the sky. You know, a very light light uh, breeze. But okay. uh, it doesn't immediately look like it's gonna rain. Alright. Uh, Wolf was just a little confused as to why she was looking up. Um, I think he'll even say, like, is there is something wrong with the park, too? Do you want to go somewhere inside, or, what? like... She, and she she, she kind of is still looking up and she goes well, inside is better but I mean especially if you have to leave soon yeah I mean the park's close by right so at least we don't have to waste too much time traveling we can find like a I know where there's like a like a tree that we can sit under it's really nice it's got a lot of like shade or you want to do this on the ground or we can find a picnic bench let's go find a picnic bench Great. Great. Okay. Uh, you know what? There's, there's, uh, what do you call them? Not a gazebo, but like one of those like big, like covered, like areas at a park that has like picnic benches. And she looks at you and she's like, a gazebo? I don't know. Or can, or, sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> that was supposed to be out of character, but I love that it was in character. <laughs> I think it's a very natural thing. <laughs> 
very natural uh, thing to say to people. Pavilion, yes. So, That's it. Wolf, are you going to leave your car there because there is a park within walking distance? Um, If there's parking at the park, he'll drive to the park. <laughs> Great. That so, way he's just closer to yep. everyone he has to So y'all get back in the and, car. And like on the way to the car, he'll pull out his phone and text Donovan and be oh, like, hey, we're actually going to the park. So thoughtful. Okay, that's what I was hoping you wouldn't do. And um, Pavilion. Yeah, I like Pavilion. Yeah. Thank you, Nat. Yeah. Um, that's what it was. That's, that's... I'm like imagining the one from like the park near my house where I grew up. And I'm like, what's the word? Unfortunately, I don't think I'm familiar with that specific park. Um, no. <laughs> I, I bent one of my tarot cards, and it's shuffling differently because of it. And I, very, I'm gonna have to get a new deck. Anyway, um, that's it. <laughs> I almost bought a new deck on Saturday. Uh, you should have bought it. It was pretty. I, I, I regret telling you to not go back in and buy that deck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Always sent buy new deck. Uh, some people uh, a picture of the deck that I was looking at. Um, oh, crow! So now it's really pretty. The lumber chains are all cut up. Um, all right, so let's go back to the third floor. Third floor, Krina, Corey, and uh, Feliciano. Feliciano. I know who these characters are that I have fully developed. And uh, Corey starts opening doors. Great. Start opening doors. <laughs> Look. Look. Um, yeah, you start opening doors, and are, are you just like opening a door, looking and walking away? You're like slamming it because you're frustrated. Like describe. Uh, not slam, not slamming it. I think he's 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 sort of in like haste mode. This is probably the first time he's actually ever felt worry now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so he's kind of just like moving quickly. He's like open door, look, she there? Nope. Open door, look, she there? Nope. <laughs> So, um, and like, he yep. don't even care if he sees someone else. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I think Krina will take one side of the hallway, but she's not moving as fast as Corey. That's you know, fair. She's, she's double fist and honey bun and soda. Like, right. it's a little And then, like, process. opening the door with her elbow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're probably just looking, Krina's just looking through the little tiny window that all these the school room doors yeah. have. Yeah, no, it's in that one. Okay. Yep, yeah, oh. that's, that's good enough. <laughs> um, so. Um, what, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I remember now. Uh, and Feliciano is like, what are we doing up here? Possibly finding check. nightmare fuel. No, no. Would it? No, just, just check the room. Maybe your sister nothing. was one of, the, people come up here to sex Feliciano. That's what the third floor is for. And she's, and Feliciano kind of like, it's like, like it's totally like clicking. Like, oh, like, okay, that. I understand why we're here, and I'm slightly horrified. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, and uh, let's see, who would this be more fun? Let's go say Krina. Krina, you find you open up a as as Corey gets to the end of the hall, and you're like at the midpoint. Um, you look in one window, and uh, you see a chase uh, with somebody, but it's it's okay. not clear exactly who chases with. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like linger at that window to see if I can. You want to try to figure I, it I, out. Well, I want to tell first: is it uh, Elias or not? And second of all, it's so weird. It's probably not. It's probably a football player. Like trying to see if I can tell who it is. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's find out. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's not gonna work. Chase getting that wang. Chase it, get in that way. <laughs> Chase it, get in that way. At the very least, he'll give us some gay shit. <laughs> yeah, at the very least. Hey, listen, Donovan and Corey gave some real good gay shit last week. <laughs> Rob's face at that. Rob's face, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> very satisfied. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> wait, didn't I do this already? I'm sorry, hold on one second for me. Oh, that's what I did. Sorry. Um, okay, you're forgiven. Uh, it's um, you hover to like try to figure out who it is, and it's thank you for the suggestions, chat. And um, it's uh, Walt Freeman. It's not Walt Freeman. 
No, ew. Ew! Uh, it's Ingrid, actually. Interesting. Yeah. I think we're gonna actually say that out loud. Not real loud, like, she doesn't want the people in the classroom to hear, mm -hmm. but, like, yeah. It's but it's, it's probably loud yeah. enough for uh, Feliciano and Corey. Probably, do see, yeah. Do you see something? Is she there? Uh, it's not her, no. Oh, then stop watching. It's an Ingrid. Oh, well, check the next room. And I'm like going I'll, I'll, I, I was, I was, okay. I'll pop down. Keep going. Okay, great. <laughs> and so, Corey, you start on the end and, you know, you meet. Yeah. And, no, no, you don't see anything else uh, of note. Sorry, certainly not your sister. Uh, I pull out my phone. Uh, and she I'm has going not messaged you or called text you back. Oh, Donovan, sorry. you know people. You you do internet things, right? Can you track a cell phone? Should I get texts? Yeah, you get a text that says that. Do I get wolves already? Or oh yeah, you get wolves first. Sorry. I, yeah, so. In your car, you get Wolf's yeah. text, and I assume you start driving to the park instead. And then yeah. you get a text from Corey before you park. Well, uh, Donovan would use uh, like the voice to text of his car. Mm -hmm. He has a super techie card to say, um, "Okay, I'll head to the park. Be quick." Sorry, you say, okay, I'll head to the park, be quick to Wolf? Yep. Okay, great. And what about the Cory one? And then... Mm, I think Donovan would say... I can talk to some friends tonight. Uh, he, he, I think he gets frustrated with texting and he calls. Hello? My sister is missing. Are you sure? Apparently, I mean, they're always together, and I just checked with. And now he's probably talking it's very loudly. It's been thirty minutes. It's been thirty minutes. They don't separate from each other. Is this your sister that spit on Karina? I mean, yes, but I, I only have one sister. Oh, okay. But she and missed... where'd you last see her? When she spit on Karina. <laughs> oh, when <laughs> when did anyone last see her? Like like uh, like uh, like uh, thirty minutes ago. Is her bags missing or whatever no, she was she's carrying? Just, she's just gone. Where'd she go last? Did you check so, where she was last? Yeah, we went to the locker. There wasn't any like fuss or anything that's supposed to be where she was last. Maybe she left with somebody? No, she doesn't go anywhere without Feliciano. Like anywhere. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen her. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but you, 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 you do tech stuff and you, you look at things. Can't you like track a cell phone? Isn't that I a can't, no. What do you do? Oh, is that what you want? Yes. Okay, hold on. Uh, what do you I do just, when people are missing? Korea's gonna like walk stuff. off a few steps and mm -hmm. then like, uh, I would like to um, do my, uh, what is it, Beyond the Veil? Beyond the Veil! Um, I'm just like on the phone with Donovan. It was very, very dramatic. <laughs> Very, very welcome to the world of tomorrow. Ooh. But uh, go ahead, give me your uh, that that sexy dark roll, please. Mm, okay. Um, eight. Eight. Uh, yeah, eight's all right. Uh... Oh, oh, I know. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh oh. Looking forward to this. What? What's wrong? Nothing's gonna happen. It's fine. Everything's Nothing. fine. <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, you know, try to connect with your, uh, brother, um, like you have done so many times before. And, uh, your brother does not appear, uh, nor does Tanya appear. Hmm. Um, oh. instead, um, it is a uh, a young-looking fae. Uh, looks like they might be in high school themselves. Uh, you know, has that sort of age about them. Uh, who, uh, if Corey could see this person, Corey would recognize uh, from 
the puddle incident incident as one of the laughing fae. Um, and uh, I don't know. I need a fae name. I don't. I haven't named this person yet. Um, uh, like hey, cow? Chat. hey, James. Alistar. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I like that. Yeah, That's pretty good. I might put three Ys in it later, but Alistar. <laughs> and, no, uh, I hate that. <laughs> I hate uh, when people and, throw Ys in it. Karina, names. you know uh, this is the Fae known as Alistar, um, who uh, does work for your brother these days, but isn't nearly as high up as Tanya. And Alistair oh. doesn't say anything, they just stare at you. Hi, Alistair. Is my brother busy? Very. Too busy for me? At the moment, they asked me to come. <sighs> Fine. Um, trying to find Corey's sister, Elias. She's missing for 30 whopping minutes. Oh. Okay. What would you like? Where is she at? I can tell you the answer to that. Um, but uh, your brother also wanted me to tell you that uh, he needs uh, a, 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 a little favor uh, from you. Mm -hmm. um, there is a new teacher in town. I believe you had her for class, uh, a Mrs. Abel. Mm -hmm. Could you make sure um, she survives till Sunday for us? Just keep an eye uh, on her. Uh, just till Sunday. I'm really bad at that. Okay. But I well, guess I could try. If you're not willing or capable, uh, that's fine. I'll just go back. I said to... I would try. Well, I don't. I don't know. You don't. I don't like try. You know. I feel like I want you to say you'll you'll do it, and then I I can tell you where Alistar is. But if you don't. If, you know, if you're not committed, if you just want to, you know, make an attempt, yeah, that's fine. I'll just, I'll let your brother know, and I'm sure you'll eventually figure out where this person is. Alistair. Yes, my princess. Why does no one ever listen to me? <sighs> How am I supposed to keep a grown woman alive if something wants to kill her? I'll do my best. Just shouting this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think um, Feliciano like looks at you, Corey, and like looks over, like Don't 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 question it. Don't question it. You don't okay. question things at home, don't question her. Do I hear Krina screaming? Yeah, you hear Krina yelling this on the phone. Like What's the that? Right. Krina's Krina's talking to herself. She was said she was gonna find oh. information, but she's yelling at herself. Something about keeping a grown woman alive. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I mean yeah. Uh, But yeah, I don't what do they do for missing kids? <laughs> you call the police. So back to the other conversation. Uh, uh, Alistar says, oh, well, if you're going to try your best, uh, princess, that's fine. Elias is in the Fey realm. Fuck. The fuck is she doing there? How did oh. she get over there? Oh, Why? Well, Tanya grabbed her. Jack wanted to kill her himself. What the hell? Wait, why is she where? Krina, where is she? Is there anything else that you needed, uh, my princess? You tell Jack I'm coming. Wait, I will your brother? Isn't your, right. isn't your brother Jack? <laughs> isn't your brother Jack? Uh, good luck, Corey. No, no, I'll no. I'll talk no, to you later. No, 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 Donovan, no. Great. <laughs> call Donovan back like that. Calling scene. Donovan back, no. no. Put a pin in that scene. Great scene, everybody. Great scene. <laughs> And Donovan! So... No. Donovan! <laughs> I enjoyed that. Um, yes, um, this is uh, definitely uh, very important content that I want to make sure the YouTubers know. Uh, uh, 
Lumberjane, your big dad, has said popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Uh, so, anyway, um, Wolf, you sit down on the park bench with uh, Dixie, and Dixie kind of like, like kind of like sweeps the leaf debris off the picnic table and pulls out uh, her deck of cards and starts shuffling. She goes, so you said you wanted to know more about the tarot. What are you interested in? Oh, just like, I mean, I really don't know anything about it other than what you told me. So just the fact that it like, I don't know, it seemed to work pretty well last time, like you did it with me. And like, I don't really understand how it works or like, how how any of that stuff works really well it is a very old divination system that has changed over time but the core of it stays true and some people feel like there is a special magic to the cards that they might be connected to the fates themselves, but I personally think there is a larger connection between the cards and the people interacting with the cards, that when we ask questions, we have honestly already come to more conclusions than we've had time to process, and it's sort of our soul in a way that is making sure we pick things at the right place to help us learn what we already know cut the deck please wolf as as she's explaining wolf's giving the like huh yeah like kind of nods like he's obviously listening pretty intently and mm -hmm. he'll like reach out and just like you know cut the deck okay. She goes, if you uh, Google, you'll find a lot of stuff. Some of it is out there because people are trying to make more money. Some of it is historical. Some of it is idle speculation. I tend to think that idle speculation is very true when we are talking about our own experiences. So I wouldn't discredit anything you read. I think at the end of the day, What's important is which words resonate with you. And when she says that, she'll actually uh, reach out and she will touch uh, your hand and make eye contact. Uh, Wolf will, he won't like draw his hand away or anything. He'll look up to meet her eye contact. Mm -hmm. She's, um, go ahead. No, I think, if, if she sounds like she's about to talk, he will not interrupt. He doesn't have anything important to say. <laughs> so she smiles and she pulls her hand away and she says, do you have a question? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of questions in my life, but I think there is definitely one that's sort of more in the forefront right now. Goes, are you comfortable saying it out loud? Do I have to? No. But, like I said, there's a connection to both of us here. And if I know what you're ruminating on, I think the chances are better that you'll get the information you're looking for. In some ways, right now, there is a connection between us through the cards. I think Wolf has a pretty hesitant expression on his face. He is kind of silent for a few moments before he finally says, like, I guess if it'll help, um, promise not to, like, judge me or anything like that. And he kind of, like, smiles sheepishly. She goes, uh, no. I, I'm absolutely going to judge you, but I won't tell you what I think. Okay. <laughs> um, I am just wondering how to... 
and he kind of pauses as he's trying to think of a way to word this question or his his thoughts mm -hmm. how how do I make how do I get Bridget to see things from my point of view she goes on that is a very interesting question um and I have to pause for a second, and I have to ask my cast a question. I've just noticed that Dixie appears to have the condition Bay. Did she uh, get that condition? No, Bay? get rid of it. Get oh, rid of it. Okay. It's not a real condition. No, this is like way, way before. Like this is from. I'm. I'm surprised. I, I suspected it was Kate's fault. I, I, I was thought it was months ago. It was, was months ago. It I forget months things. Ago. I forget things. So it was. It was months ago. So, Dixie says, all right, let's see. Um, how you can get Bridget to... I, I, because I, I interrupted, I forgot your phrasing. You're uh, right. See things from... Yeah, I was okay. drinking water and it, it didn't... Er, okay. Not water, but it wasn't going down well. Anyway, uh, he says, like, how do I get Bridget to see things from my point of view okay, or great. something? Something and, like that. Right. And she'll say, well, let's see first um, how in the past Bridget has reacted when trying to see your point of view. She pulls a card. The card is the Queen of Swords. Because I'm still practicing this. I'm going to look it up. Nah, you good. Looking up what the card means, then I'm gonna say something slightly different. <laughs> because this is really interesting, actually. The Queen of Swords generally represents a person. And... I would assume that there's only two people involved in this question. But you might know better. This person is obviously involved in your communication history with Bridget. But the Queen of Swords is supposed to be a very good counsel, a good listener very smart in their chosen field. Whatever they think you are, they are good at, they, they are. They're very wise in that area. And they're very perceptive to the point where they likely know that you need help before you're even willing to ask. But because they're so smart, and they're so perceptive. Sometimes when they give criticism or try to help, it comes off uh, painfully. It can be too blunt or too harsh. And she looks at you um, with a bit of sympathy as she, as she reaches for the next card. I think Wolf has this very kind of pensive expression on his face. He's got some, like, obviously he's thinking about what she's saying as she says it. Like, he's got all these thoughts kind of, like, <laughs> running through his head about, like, who this person could be. But he doesn't say anything. He just kind of lets her continue. Just the second card will represent where you are right now. And I, I know you feel um, a bit vulnerable, but keep that in mind. She pulls the next card, and the next card is the Five of Pentacles. And she says, the Five of Pentacles isn't necessarily a person. Um, it's really a, a state, and it is generally about how sad or worried we are about something or someone. <laughs> Sometimes 
the five is about giving ourselves permission to feel that way. Or sometimes it's about realizing that what we're worrying about isn't actually helping the situation. But at the moment the worry is there, the sadness is real, and if you recognize it, you can either use it for good or move beyond it. I think at this point, Wolf, well, I think literally when she was like, you know, this represents like sadness or worry, I think he does give a kind of like, kind of dry, just like <laughs> chuckle, like, of course, that fits mm -hmm. so well <laughs> without, the, that one doesn't take much thought. Um, mm -hmm. And as she keeps talking, he kind of just like, his gaze kind of goes from her to like, just like the table in front of him. But he's like nodding along like, yeah, yeah. I get it. And she almost gives you like a, a little like appreciative sigh at the end. Um, and she'll, uh, she goes to reach for the card and next card and she pauses and she reaches and she touches your hand lightly again. And she says, a lot of people have accused good decks of being assholes. I feel like that card might have been possibly the deck telling you you don't always need to ask questions when you know the answer. And she'll let go and reach for the last card. But this is really what you asked about. It's what can you do. And the card she reveals is the Seven of Wands. And I think at this point, um, Donovan has probably hung up on Corey. Um, and as long as you're willing to ignore Corey's next phone call to you, Donovan, you can slowly approach them. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Yeah, he'd get out and try to go up to them. So as she, Dixie contemplates the Seven of Wands... Um, she sees you, Donovan, and she kind of just like gives like the very slightest of nods. And she goes, well, this is interesting that Donovan joins us when I reveal this card. I think, like, until she said that, like, mm -hmm. Wolf didn't even realize that Donovan was approaching, and he, like, looks up and, like, looks at Donovan and gives him a sort of very small smile and a kind of head nod, um, but then he, like, immediately returns his attention to Dixie. She goes, I, I don't know how to read this card in a way that's going to answer the question. Um, in a satisfying manner for you, Wolf. That's, I mean, that's okay. Just This card is just telling you, you that you have to do it. This, it's all on you. Any way that this is going to get fixed, it's going to be through your actions. It's going to be through the strength you already have. Sometimes this card represents leadership, but it's not about relying on other people anymore. And she quietly picks up her cards. Wolf just gives a big sigh. He was kind of already at that conclusion. Um, he already had kind of that feeling of like, it's up to me to do do this because like no one else can do it but I think hearing Dixie say that just makes it feel so much worse just like so much more real and mm -hmm. uh, puts more weight like on his shoulders um, and he says 
yeah, I guess it's kind of what I thought already, but um, I guess it is what it is, and I just have to do my best. And and she says, honestly, I, I wish the cards had said something else. No, that's okay. You don't have to and, and and look, I didn't... And he kind of uh, froze his brows. He's like, I didn't mean for this to all turn into, like, a really depressing, like, let me cry over Bridget kind of thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm kind of not more cheerful. And so you'll look up at you, and she'll be like, Donovan! Um, Pixie. You like parks? I'm okay with parks. Why are you here? I'm supposed to pick up Wolf. Wolf drove. Yeah, it'll be more efficient this way. And the Dixie will turn to you, Wolf, in obvious confusion. Uh, Wolf will kind of furrow his brows too. And be like, um, yeah, I have my own car. I can drive myself. I, I think it'll be easier if we just go in my car and I'll offer a string. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that <laughs> string. That seems like a pretty innocuous string. All right. So you get an XP. Woo. Which is very exciting. Guess we're taking Donovan's car. It's got text-to-speech for your phone while you're driving. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's very exciting, isn't it? And, and Dixie will say, oh, um, are you helping with the event tonight, Donovan? I'm trying to help. Let's well, see how that goes. He kind of looks between, like, Donovan and Dixie, like, what... I'm sorry, I didn't know I was interrupting anything. Oh, it, it's fine. I was just hanging out with Dixie, is all. Um, was there something you needed to talk to me about? Didn't you say you needed to talk to me about something? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> yeah, get in the car. Oh, like right now? Yes. I look at the clock, like what time is it? I mean, I don't remember when high school it's like out. three o'clock yeah, yeah like, like i just two. meant like in comparison to you yeah and seven, you like four hours seven o'clock is the lumber mill something like that 7 30 7 30 i'm sorry like four I'm hours sorry. donovan i couldn't remember jealous. if we decided it was the same time as our show or slightly different I kept getting no it was supposed to be that. seven but then everyone said 7 30 so let's just stick with 7 30 <laughs> <laughs> okay great gosh so I keep being screwed by putting things too late. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Dixie's going to turn to you, Wolf, and she's going to be like, you know what, Wolf? Fine. Next time you need someone to be your cover, just fucking say it, okay? I, I don't need to be fucked around like this. And she starts... Whoa, what, what did wait, you do to... Wait, 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 Dixie, going on? I... That's not what I meant at all. What are you... What? She goes, listen, all right, half the school have already heard about how you interact and, like, who the fuck cares, okay? So you're rebounding Bridget with Donovan. Nobody gives a shit. But you don't have to Whoa. pretend that you want to hang out with me so that nobody sees you two leaving school Hey, Dixie, together. I'm nobody's rebound. There's a lot I... more going on than that. I... And it's, it's not like that dixie i really yeah. did want to hang out with you and but and donovan is helping you with your family issue after this the the, the one that happens at i would be happy to handle that problem <laughs> wolf just doesn't say anything he kind of just like looks down he's, he's he like got up at some point when dixie started to walk away but now he's just like looking down at the ground <laughs> have you met his father what, the fucking Royd guy? No, I avoid him like the plague. He's a loser. No shit. I mean, he's not that bad. No, 
Well, let's be real here, okay? I get why yeah. you wouldn't want your dad to know that you're gay, because your dad's crazy. Fucking ruined Bex's family's entire life, okay? Were you coming out to Dixie? Did I really interrupt something? No, I mean, that wasn't like a secret or anything. I, I've had boyfriends in the past. It's, it's... Oh. Dixie, Dixie. Dixie, Dixie. Uh, rolls her eyes and starts walking away. Wait, Dixie, and I think Wolf will, he'll, like, look to Donovan, give him a kind of, like, please give me one second kind of Donovan expression. just sighs, turns around. And, like, he'll go after Dixie and be like, wait, okay. Dixie, I, I'm so sorry. Like, as he's, like, catching up to her, he's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for, like, any of this to happen. Everything has just been a fucking mess this past day. And I'm really sorry that it ruined everything because... Everything I do always ruins everything. And he just like he's like he kind of stops and looks at her, hoping that she like stops walking and like. Yeah, she'll stop cares. walking and uh and listen to you. Uh, Wolf, do you sound upset? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, I was hearing that. Walk to his car. To make sure it was intentional. Um, and um. And Dixie just kind of like shrugs, and it's just like, all right, well, do you want to tell me what the fuck is going on? I think Wolf will take a few moments to <laughs> collect his thoughts. He'll kind of look down, take a deep breath, and just be like, look, all I can tell you is that some serious shit is going down tonight and honestly if you can avoid it just don't go to Bridges party tomorrow it's if I can't do what I need to do then it's gonna be really bad she uh, actually she, she reaches into her, her bag and she pulls out a phone and um, she flips uh, open to something, and then she turns it around to show you. And she goes, uh, it, 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 "What they are is their their text messages. Um, their text messages from. Let's make sure I get this right. D and D crew. Uh, yeah, it is. It's her D and D like group chat. Um." And it is Milo, and it is Ingrid, uh, and it's um, Xavier. Xavier, mainly Milo and Xavier, um, and a, there's a bunch from this afternoon. Uh, and it's they're just like talking about how amazing the party is going to be, and like how important it is that everyone is there. I think as Wolf like. Does she just show her, like, some text, or does she, like... It's, it's the bottom of the conversation. Okay. Uh, I think as Wolf reads it, he kind of, like, pales a little bit. And he's, like... He kind of shakes his head very slowly, and he's like, that's... They must be in on it, too. Um, please, Dixie, just... Don't go to the party tomorrow. It's... Bridget is... Something really terrible is gonna happen. She hits you uh, with her free hand. She just like punches you oh. in the shoulder. Uh, okay. But it's her it's her off hand, so it only hurts so much. Uh, Donovan, do you notice? Donovan was walking towards his car. Oh, okay, great. So um, unless they start screaming or something. Oh yeah, like she's that. gonna do that now too. So oh, um, good, great. And and, she, and uh, Dixie's gonna say fuck you. If you know something that's going on and my friends are in the middle of it, you're gonna fucking tell me. <laughs> and Wolf is just like, I didn't know they were until just now. But like Bridget, she has like this influence over people and if any of them have been hanging out with Bridget or Tabitha or Chase or Marissa or and he's like <laughs> naming all of like or Bex, like just please. And he's he's got like this look of like Desperateness. I don't Donovan know if that's will a come word. Walking desperation. Back, yeah, desperation. But quickly. That's the word. Mm -hmm. And right. he's like, "Please, Dixie, I'm only telling you this because I care about you." 
and she will uh, shake her head angrily, and she actually turns and she starts walking towards Donovan. Wolf will look at Donovan. <laughs> He's not gonna like follow her, but he like turns his body to like watch her walk. You ready to go? You say that to Wolf? Yeah. Okay. Does Dixie just keep walking? Dixie actually walks around Donovan. Yeah, I figured. Come on. I think Wolf will kind of jog up to to like be next to Donovan and mm-hmm. like I assume Dixie has continued walking. Yeah, as you jog uh, up to Donovan, you see Dixie open the back seat of Donovan's car and get in. <laughs> I assume it was locked. Oh, I figured you would Don't ruin this for me! Unlocked it so that you both could get in in a second. Fine. <laughs> That's less fun, but you I'm see sorry. Dixie trying to open the back seat of your car. And she uh, starts to get violent with it. What are you doing? She goes, I'm going to break the handle if you don't unlock the door. Stay away from my car, please. No! Wait, okay, and Wolf will, Wolf will, like, run up to Dixie and, like, try to put a hand on her shoulder and be like, hey, like, don't worry, I think you don't have to worry about your friends. We're gonna... They'll oh, be okay. shit. Uh, Dixie uh, actually gets right in your face, Wolf, not that you were very far away, and she goes, ha! <laughs> What was that supposed to like? Like an angry she... cat slash vampire hiss, yeah. Ah. Uh, did she have any noticeable fangs? No. Okay. Donovan kind of watches curiously. Um. If she lets him, mm-hmm. Wolf will, um, just do that thing where you put, like, one hand on each of their shoulders. Mm hmm. And just be like, please. Dixie, and he'll, like, look right in her eyes. Like, I know you're worried about them. And he, like, takes a deep breath. But really, I think between me and Donovan, we'll, we'll do it, and it's it's just better if you stay away. And she just, she looks at you and she goes, give me your car keys. My car keys? Yeah, you drove me here. Oh, you're right. We need to... (laughs) Wolf will turn to Donovan and be like, can we bring Dixie home? No. We need to handle this. You bring more people into this, you're gonna get them hurt. She's probably already in trouble now. No, home. Like, I drove her here. She doesn't have any way to get home. Donovan makes a really good point. I am already involved. Really, at this point, if you let me go home, I'll probably just be harmed. Full. <laughs> he is going to. Sorry, not sorry. No, that's okay. I have. I know what I want to do. I'm just trying to think of a way to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to okay slide his hands like down her arms mm-hmm. so that she, he's holding her hands, and he just kind of squeezes them very gently, and he says, "Please, Dixie, it's. I, if you go, you could get hurt." worse and i don't want that to happen yeah the best thing you can do is go back to the gaming store and just act like you're pissed fuck you it's magic the gathering night give me your car keys i said the best thing you can do is go back to the gaming (laughs) store and act pissed off with wolf and i'm gonna use hypnotize okay great try it oh boy seven and Two is nine. Oh no! Uh, oh no! <laughs> Our favorite number. Yep. So, uh, the hypnosis works, but choose one. They realize exactly what you've done to them. They fuck up your command. Their sanity is unhinged. Mm. <laughs> 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 
I don't know what I want. <laughs> oh, you gotta don't, choose. Don't I mean, I'm dare. pretty sure there is an absolutely wrong answer you can choose. <laughs> Yeah, but but is Rob gonna have Donovan be petty because Donovan likes Wolf and has cleared Dixie up on that? Uh, let's see. Donovan. I'll go with they fuck up your commands. Okay, Sip great. Away. Perfect. That sounds interesting. Um, and Dixie just turns and uh, walks away uh, towards the game store. <sighs> Wolf just like throws his brows, just like we looks at We have to talk, and if you keep talking to people, especially ones that you seem interested in, you're gonna get them in trouble. Or do you want to bathe all their blood over your forehead too? Ah! <laughs> blood? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Get in the car. Donovan's gonna <laughs> go around to his car. He like you hesitates for it? a moment. Yeah. And he just sighs heavily and Donovan will get in. Then gets in the car. He gets in the passenger seat. Great. We're going to put a pin in that scene. Hey, Bridget, what you get in? Um, Bridget gets home and she's going to get a backpack. Um, I think her parents, like her mom's got like a big boning knife when they got into fishing for like a year. Yeah, that makes sense. She's going to go grab that out of the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I know that there's some like... Um, some uh some like wrapped up like coils of rope in the shed right go get those and throw those in my backpack Mm -hmm. um and that's what she's packing that's Um, good if there's nothing else that you have in mind i have an idea of how she's gonna spend the rest of the time how are you gonna spend the time i think that's great yeah i think bridget is going to walk out to the gazebo Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of sit there and try again Mm. to connect to Wolf. Like, she had that connection before. Maybe she can just force it back. Maybe she can figure it out and see what Wolf is doing. Great. Would you roll dark for me? Mm Mm-hmm. Is this a streaming roll where I add one or no? Uh, yeah. Why did you add one? Okay. I didn't need it, but... Okay. um, Thirteen. Thirteen. Lucky number. Lucky thirteen. We stand thirteen. Um You do. You um you reach out and you you're trying to connect to Wolf's emotions, um, so that you can you know, just feel something. You hopefully get his thoughts. And uh, there is sort of like a cacophony of noise. It's weird. It's like you feel your power amplified for a mm-hmm. moment. And um, and uh, as it's, you start to like push through it, you hear a voice. And the voice says, Hello, Bridget. Uh, it's about nine o'clock, so let's take a quick break. Um, we'll take, you know, we'll take a quick fiver, get some water, use the restroom if you have to, and uh, you know, come right back, and we'll have some more fun. Is that cool with everybody? Everyone likes that. That's cool with me. Cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Oh, where's the break button? Here it is. Bye. Mess of emotions. Oh, cat. Get
was three, you... not two. Yeah, I was just about to say. All right. Don't judge my counting <laughs> skills, because we're back. Hello, everybody. Who's judging your counting skills? Judging your French skills. En, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, huit, neuf. No, no, you missed six and seven there. Those are not just important numbers. Anyway, where are we? <laughs> where, what, pin are we what pin are we unplugging? What pin are we unplugging? Oh, we're going to go back to uh, Bridgetland. We, okay, yes. Oh, yes, Bridgetland. We, le we left on a clear commercial hangover. We can't not go back. That would be too mean. Um, I'm not that mean. So, uh, hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh... Uh, my name is Brian. These are my amazing cast members. This is Monster Hearts 2. Uh, we're having good fun. There are links down below. You can buy this mug. And, um, yeah, when we last left our heroes... I don't get the quotes. No? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... One of our... Hey, I didn't make her crazy, so, you know, not so bad. Uh, the chat is c saying that Bridget could stab them, and they'd still thank her. So that's... As it should be. She's that's queen. I mean, Wolf it's, uh, would probably thank her. They are getting very excited about this prospect. <laughs> um, They're forming a line. They are. It is it's a, a lot happening here. Uh... Speaking of uh, getting stabbed by Bridget, when we last left our heroes, Bridget was trying to talk to uh, Wolf, and she ended up uh, making a connection to, uh, I don't know, some kind of Spanish James Earl Jones. Type not person. Wolf. Decidedly not Wolf. Decidedly not Wolf. Um, and we did or confirm in the break uh, because people were very excited that I was trying to do my Castile voice. Um, so if you didn't know it was Castile, now you, the audience, knows uh, because I don't know how consistent I am when doing that voice. And some of you might be new. So back to Bridget's house and it's go and the voice says, I don't remember what I said. We're going to go with- Hello, Bridget. Hello. You just said hello, Bridget. Bridget. That's all, okay, good. That's what I thought I said, but you know, I don't know. Could be, could be other things. Anyway, hello. You're not Wolf. I'm sorry, what did you say? I couldn't really hear you. Brian says. You're not Wolf. Ah. Goes, no, uh, I'm afraid that Wolf won't be returning your... I don't know, what do you, how do you, what do you, how do you feel about these things? Is it more of a call, a text message? Uh, a call. A call, yeah. yeah. I get lost in the technology sometimes. Who are you? Oh, so I'm... I'm a, a friend. I who are you? I buy many names. Just tell me who you are. Well, I can't, like, tell you the really important name. That's not how this works, Bridget. Who are you? And Why are you keeping me from Wolf? <laughs> you hear this laughter. I'm like, oh, no, I can't. I'd love to, love to take credit for that. But I, I just can't. Um, I'm not keeping you from Wolf. Bridget, you are. Are you, what do I call you? You can call me... King. <laughs> I don't think so. That's fair. How about... The Steward? Take that. Why do you even want to connect to Wolf Bridget? This pathetic little boy has rejected you. I wanted to give him one more chance. 
one more shot to see my vision. You can give him all the chances you want, but he can't see your vision. I mean, he has seen your vision, and he rejects it. I can convince him. I can save him just like I'm going to save everyone else. Is that why he's with Donovan right now? He was with Dixie. Was he? Is that what he told you? I saw him. He's not with Dixie right now. I can guarantee it. What are you? Steward. I am the same thing that you are, Bridget. A god. Are you the one Krina was talking about? The one who's been getting in my way? If that's what Krina said, I imagine that Krina and I need to have a, a chat. I don't believe I've gotten in your way at all so far. Let me ask you this, Bridget. In all the times that you felt yourself stumble recently, how many times was Wolf not involved? It seems to me that things were going pretty well before you decided on this little indulgence of yours. I just wanted to control him because he knew me when I was weaker. But I needed him under my thumb. Some people are incapable of seeing the truth when all they've known is a lie. Enjoy your party. And the uh, emotions of your followers come flooding back to you. Mm -hmm. seem to drown out any other voices. And you notice um, there is a, a new one amongst your flock, a football player uh, named Mitch. Does the darkness tell me what I need to be with my new power. Oh, let's take a look at the, that new power. The um, and we'll see what I want to tell you. Uh, do, 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 I think Bridget needs to be volatile. <laughs> when you gaze into the abyss on a seven or higher. This will show you what you want. It must be... Uh, uh, I think that's up to you, I'm going to say. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do you think... Because um, what you were really searching for is you were searching for connection to Wolf there. And you did get a lot of information in that regard. Right. Um, and if you believe that would s spur a change then I think it makes sense for you to swap two of your stats, but if you believe that it doesn't, then don't. It doesn't. I think I think the thing Bridget most got out of that is mm -hmm. kind of confirmation from another voice that she is a god. Like, it's something she's known innately, but hearing someone else say it 
was kind of reassuring to her that she's on the right path. Oh, that's all the steward really ever does is reassure people that they're on the right path. Um, good, cool. Um, also, uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube, uh, Lumberjane, your big dad, says, In your head! In your head! Um, so, with that being said, let's go back to the third floor where Corey uh, Donovan refuses to pick up your calls. <laughs> Donovan, come on. Uh. Krina, you said your brother's name. D d d does that mean the Fae have my sister? Yes. We're going to go get her back. I don't like this. Yeah, no, this is this is not good. Um we need to yes we need to go get her we need we need to go get her now Krita's gonna reach out like before he even stops talking is going to grab him by the front of his leather jacket with no shirt underneath it and like it zipped up though it zipped up walk. like she's still gonna grab like a yeah. fistful of it and just like throw him against the the locker yeah <laughs> and and then she's gotta like 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 kind of like the dangerous kind of uh kind of sexy and like lean in real close to him and just say I get I want, and other people don't get to take it from me. I was just going to kiss him really, like, kind of savagely. <laughs> okay. Um, I think you should roll hot, is what I think. Yeah, that's cool. the goal here. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> did you fail? What number did you get? <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do here. Uh, um. <laughs> I mean, you, you're in your darkest self. Um, you don't have any strings that apply, but uh, I I, chosen might apply. You you could probably add a plus one. I don't think okay. you should be adding multiple pluses for conditions, in my opinion. Okay. Does one help you get to where you need to go? I think so. I think She's definitely just being so fey, I mean. Get me there. Right. There's a, I was just, there's a few things that could apply, but I don't want to stack plus ones based on conditions. Because the, the game only goes to so many numbers. Yeah. I, that'll, that'll get me there. That'll get me a seven. Okay. Okay. There we go. So, on a seven, they can either give you a string or they can choose one of their reactions. Take a string. Karina gets a string, uh, which is good because she apparently needs more ways to add plus one to things. And, um, cool. So that's hot. Uh, um, as... Corey's, yeah, taken aback a bit. He's like, now is, and like, he sort of like, like kisses for a second, and then he like gently nudges her away. He's like, now is not the time for this. Brother right there, sister missing. Or, well, yeah. not missing because we know where she is, but Miss Alex. I'm going to take his hand and be like, are we taking him too? No. Uh, I'm Feliciano. Talking to Feliciano, are you coming with us? No, no, it's not safe there. Okay. Feliciano, Feliciano was just shaking his head no. no like, go home, totally tell mom and dad, tell mom and, and dad the Faye, go tell Corey mom and dad the Faye have like, Elias. So, so before, okay. no, before. <laughs> Corey, you definitely keep saying those things, but I can't hear Stephanie. Stephanie, what do you say? Uh, as soon as Feliciano like, starts to shake his head no, like, Corey's just gonna go. Scott, Great. With, with Corey. Great. Poof. He doesn't get a chance to tell Felicia. I think he does. I, I, I think he does. I. Because you're looking for the. When we you're leave, you're thinking, but you're no. thinking you're what, looking for the head shake, and his immediate thought is, "You're not coming. They have. They already have her." Like. Don't. Don't. You know what? We're gonna. We're gonna let the audience uh, wonder okay. if uh, uh, Feliciano heard it or not. Um, what's the. Uh, the uh, go to the fairy guide. 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 Yeah. Oh, so you've got to spend the string in order to do <laughs> mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so I spend the string on Corey. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Um, <laughs> that just... was the whole point of turning him on. <laughs> was it? I don't know. Oh, I guess Brian missed the part in the chat where we were yeah, like, <laughs> we were like, shit. She doesn't have any strings No, I, I totally missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, it also does make sense for Krita to just be like, I'm going to get what I want. I was totally down <laughs> with this, yeah, no, with it's this good. behavior. Uh, I was half expecting her to be like, take off your pants. Oh, oh boy. Felicia <laughs> 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 Gano's like, wait, what? <laughs> what? No. Yeah. So, so great. Uh, Y'all appear on that uh, Fey Road that uh, you've both been on before. Um, Corey is running. 
You start, yeah, like, like Krita, Krita's got, I think, like, an iron grip on his head, and she's, like, stalking really, like, hard and fast down He's dragging her, probably, because right. there's, like, a foot, if not more, between them in mm -hmm. height, and he's yeah, like, running. Krita's not gonna run. She's gonna, like, be yanking back, like, we're not running. My sister could literally be being dismembered right now. No. She's fine. You don't, you don't know this. I do. I know my brother, and I know the fate. Great. Won't be that fast. So, uh, y'all, um, move at a pace that is both fast and slow. <laughs> um, not moving, like, kind of moving with purpose, but she's yeah. not gonna, like, demean herself by running. Um. Plop, 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 drag. And, um, as it turns, the clearing is, is slightly different than last time you saw it, Corey. Uh, there are slightly less uh, buildings, uh, mm -hmm. more uh, ruins, more foundations than anything else. And in the middle of the clearing, where there was nothing before, there's now a, a raised area. Um, and uh, there are a num uh, the Fae are sort of all around watching the center. And everyone's wearing togas. Uh, and... Uh, Bet there are these two pillars on the raised area, and tied between the two pillars is your sister, also wearing a toga, and a Jack is there. He's got a, a, a long, curvy dagger, and he appears to be dancing around her, uh, but there's no music. <laughs> Yeah, Corey's eyes are wide. His yeah, heart Kray is Kray pounding. Is just, yeah. He's Kray never felt fear before. That's enough! Jack sort of like snaps out of it for a minute and everyone turns and looks at you two. Uh, and Jack goes, oh, sister, you made it! Fantastic! Yeah, Karina's got like the darkest, like most fey look that she's ever had. Like her eyes are like pretty much black. Like there's like hollow shadows across her face. Like mm -hmm. she's angry and very fey at this moment. Um, and Jack just has a huge smile on his face. It's just not, not worried about that at all. Um, uh, it goes, let's, well, let's get down to it. I didn't mean to leave you out. Um, I know you spoke to, um, a person's name I remember. And, uh, Alistair. you know, do, do you need a dagger? Did you bring one? She's mine. This is my vengeance. I, wait, what? How dare you take this from me? And now Jack will gain a much more serious face. And he will say, I am the king of the Fae. I invite you to share in my vengeance. When this one insults you, they insult my entire kingdom. I'm the one she insulted. This is my vengeance to take in the way that I wish to take it. You move too slowly, sister. I move at a pace that works for me and my purposes and I move for an entire kingdom. I'm gonna slow- Fuck your kingdom, this is for me! All right, wait, time out. Corey's <laughs> letting go of Krina's hand and okay. he's just like slowly like the, moving. He's trying to place Krina's himself- Krina's not essential. gonna let go. Like, well, you're he, gonna have he to He wants like, to drag, off, drag you or move off because he wants to place himself between Jack okay. and so, Elias. Okay, so I asked my, one of my, one of my great questions. I asked only the best questions here at mm -hmm. Gehenna Valley. Um, Kay, are you willing to pull on Krina's hand so hard that you might hurt her? Uh, I think I think first he would look to her and be like, let go of my, I need to place myself between Elias and, and the knife. Are you saying that out loud or are you trying to say that with your eyes? Um, I think it's with his eyes. Okay, that's a, that's a hefty sentence, but it's uh, just a, yeah, it's just, Krina, it's are you panic. Even, it's this going panic to in his eyes. even look at Corey, while you are talking to your brother? Um, I think that I will 
give Corey's hand like like I've had a really strong grip, but I think I will just like squeeze it like a, like a trust me. Mm-hmm. Like trying to get him to be like trust me on this one. Uh, I think he'll <laughs> wait. He'll wait another minute, but it's it's clear like he's his hand, his palms are getting sweaty. Like he's he's concerned and he's anxious, which are again feelings he's never felt before, um, and fear and just it's a lot. And he keeps like looking to the knife and looking to Elias and. Okay, cool. So back to Faye yelling at each other then. (laughs) Um, Jack will say, since you've managed to come up, you are invited to participate. There are worse things to do to mortals than what you can do here in the Fey realm with a knife. And there are worse things that you can do to your family by insisting on doing things the way you want to do them. Let me take my vengeance the way I want to and where I want to. I live in the mortal realm. I know the best way to handle this, to hurt them, to make them suffer for the way that they've insulted me and you and all of our kind. Jack will break eye contact with you. And he will walk around so that he is facing Elias. He looks up at her and she's clearly quite scared. And she says, and he says, Is that what you wish, child? Do you want to suffer more at the hands of my sister? Or would you rather let it end now? I would, I would like to give Corey's head like a little shake. Okay. Like, say, something, say something. Okay, I'm like, like no, Corey, Corey, Corey lets go and just like steps. He's gonna step close to Jack and he's gonna say, "Listen, please, your highness, uh, my sister is but an an unknowing child, and I I will give to you whatever you need, whatever you wish, to spare her. And uh, I'd like to enact uh, bot loyalty if possible." Oh, what's that? It's a move I have. What? It's a, You can give a side character a string on you to tempt them to do your bidding or desire. The MC will tell you what sort of bribe, threat, or coaxing it'll take to get that character to do what you want right now. <laughs> Karina's face looks a little bit scared now. <laughs> Jack Corey and, yeah. slowly turns to Corey. He's not quite smiling, but he doesn't seem upset. Um, And he, um, he will look at you and he says, do you promise? Don't answer. Out of character, don't answer. Because I'm going to tell you what it's going to take so that you know what you're answering. Jack wants your soul as soon as it is available. So if you manage to get out of your contract with Castile, Jack is your new dark power. I promise. Oh my god. You're sold to your girlfriend's brother. Sure, this will work. Not great. my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, dating, gosh. Jack kind of waves his hands and the ropes binding uh, Elias uh, turn to snakes and slither up the uh, columns. She sort of falls to her knees. I want to try and catch her. 
Uh, great, that's dramatic. You somehow yeah. managed to move forward fast enough to catch her. Mm-hmm. And um, as you look up, there are two Fey who look nearly identical and battle hardened, and they're standing at the top of the raised area, just sort of staring down at you. A moment later, uh, Alistar uh, comes around with a contract. And it is very, very short and simple. And it says, I, Aurelius, of the many names, (laughs) do guarantee my soul to the Lord of the Fey Realm as soon as it is mine to give. And she hands you a pen. Oh, uh, Kratos be like, no, no, don't. This isn't... I think Corey's like holding the pen in one hand like Elias is in like the other and his hand's shaking. Don't, no! What are the choices? She can't! She's supposed to be mine! You're the one infringing here! And then you go and take his soul too? Is there nothing I'm allowed to have? Chex says... It's the boy's choice. He decided. Choice you shouldn't have to make because she belongs to me. My dear sister, this is my realm. You don't, don't worry. Me. You don't trust me. You don't have any faith in me or my abilities. I'm not. You're my brother, and I'm just a human to you, aren't I? I'm just a mortal. You don't trust me at all to you be able to use my power. Where is the one known as Mrs. Abel? She's back at campus. And she looks over at... Uh, no, she, he looks over at Alistair. And says, is that true? Alex kind of looks disappointed and says no. It's been like 30 minutes since school ended. Where the hell could she be? I trusted you to know. You don't trust me at all. You set me up to fail on purpose and then you took this from me, which should have been mine. Make your choice, mortal. So while they were arguing, yep. uh, under his breath, mm-hmm. Corey is going to uh, have uh, tried to enact strings attached. Oh, okay. All right, here. Uh, what do you want to uh, ask the uh, dark power with strings attached? Um... I think Corey's feeling desperate and scared and is watching his face fighting and he wants uh, Castile to just bring bring Elias home. Put her home. Also, like, I, if there's some move I could be using here, you have to tell me because I don't know how any of these can make sense to, like, roll something to convince Jack to listen to me. Um, you can shut him down. I think, yeah, Jack is, is, um, sort of tied to the same moves as mortals, which means that if you really want him to listen, 
uh, we have to take it outside of the RP, and uh, you can be mean and roll cold, uh, which is probably closer uh, to what we're doing, or we, um, I mean, hot is generally the other avenue. I, I don't see that happening. Yeah, it's my brother. Yeah, also, also you seem pretty mad. Um, but also it's your brother. Um, a ghostly figure of Donovan hovers behind you. Right. Use the cold. Use <laughs> it. Uh, you have, you have seen me. You. Corey. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I uh, think yeah. I would. Corey, um, Castile, uh, says, um, Castiel says, yes, I will bring Elias home in return for your renewed devotion. You can have it. Just make sure she's safe. Great. Well, uh, can, uh, no, okay, no. look, I'm, can I roll cold? It? Like, I, yeah. this is not going anywhere near what I was hoping would happen or, like, as a player. Yeah. I'm, Roll, um, uh, before before really like anything happens. Light, yeah, before. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Hey, I, the so this here. is. The, I'm gonna <laughs> say that the Corey. This is all happening uh, in Corey's head. But please roll cold. Oh sweet Jesus! Thank you. <laughs> I got a ten. I rolled an eleven minus one is a ten. Great. <laughs> um. Right. Wow. Um, would you like a... Uh, I think you can do this in two ways, okay? Uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to trick you. Um, I, I have to say that uh, because I'm playing the <laughs> king of the fae realm right now. Um, but out of character, you can do it really simply. You can take a string on Jack and you can spend it to convince him to give you just this one thing okay but if we do it that way um you you've sort of got to pick a little bit you can get elias and jack will make do everything in his power to make sure you get elias or you can make sure that corey doesn't sell his soul again um, and Jack will do everything in his power to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm not saying both won't happen, but if you're going to spend a string, you're picking one. Your other option is to give Jack a condition. And that that condition would be something, and hopefully, that makes him want to do more than one thing that you want him to do. But I, that will be open to my honest interpretation of Jack and your relationship. Okay, so I could either get a string and you, then use that string to either... Guarantee, yeah. Get, get Elias or keep Corey from Sally to Soul. Absolutely. Or I can give Jack a condition that... And maybe get both. Will... Yeah. Okay. Okay, because mechanically what I was trying to do is like... To get this before Corey like talked to Castile. I hear you, but Corey um, hasn't had a lot to say, yeah. uh, so I feel like Corey's yeah. had time to to be desperate, and I think that's more dramatic. Um, um I guess like, probably a condition then. Okay, what kind of condition? You've been throwing out a I, lot of words about uh, trust and betrayal. Yeah, I, I I want something about like ashamed, like okay. he's ashamed of the way he's treated Karina and acted towards her, and I think like that works. totally dismissed everything yeah. that she said, and like he did take this away from her. He doesn't trust her. Mm -hmm. You've you've called him out in front of his court. I think shamed is a very powerful condition right now. Um, so we're going to do that. Shame. Um, uh, 
and he looks at you, Krina, and you can tell that he's thinking. Um, and uh, Corey, you still have sort of had the pen in your hand, um, but you've made that agreement, so you've no reason to sign it. And give me what I have earned, what is mine, and let us leave. Jack says, very well. And as soon as he says that, uh, you see his hand sort of shoot out towards Corey and Alistair. Not Alistair, Elias. Elias. Um, and uh, Elias suddenly feels uh, lighter in your hands, uh, Corey. Mm -hmm. um, and you look down and she seems to be fading in and out and Krina the the look on your brother's face is one of struggle something something's gone wrong Jenner, you follow the pro like in, like Corey's muttering follow the promise or it's not real you follow the promise and he's like turning his back to try and like place himself between whatever Do not talk is. to him I try and place you yeah. broke the promise you... I didn't. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't agree to the promise. Okay, wait, we wait. never got to it. Time out, real quick, because I can't tell if we're arguing out of character or in character. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it sounds like Krina is accusing you of breaking your promise in character, but no. out of character. No. Oh, was <laughs> no, that Stephanie? Stephanie wow. Never agreed. So I got real confused then. Uh <laughs> he never agreed. He opened the phone, saw the text, and panicked and called, and you never got a proper promise or agreement from him. Stephanie... So mechanically, yes, that is what happens. But, right. Dark itself, everything you say seems a promise. So mechanically, nothing happens, but this is what Karina's thinking. Okay, yeah, I just want to make that clear. Sure. Yeah. And, so, and that is what we've been going by, is, does yes. Karina think you promised? Because that's where yeah, so Karina's magic is. In, in Dark itself, I haven't been keeping track of any of like any of those kinds of promises, because I don't, they're not real promises. Okay. In Dark itself. So, okay. but she thinks that Corey has broken a promise. Okay, so now we're going to pop back into character and see if Krina accuses Corey of breaking a promise, okay? See. Yeah, Krina says, don't talk to him, I have this! I can't resist. Don't need him, I have got this! It, Jack sort of starts panicking, and he and he says, "I don't understand. How can he be this strong in my court?" And he starts looking around, and he goes, "Who? Who is his tether?" It's Corey. Corey. And Corey's just holding this fate, and he's he's looking panicked, and he's scared, and he's like, "I, he wasn't listening to you. He was. You just had to trust me." No one trusts me! Not with her life. Fuck you. I had it. This is so, this is so sorry. I'm just like, out of, out of character, this is really hard because, like, when I made this, this wasn't going well, and now, like, there's. Mm hmm. I, I, it wasn't I'll, going badly either. You literally yeah. just had to wait. I, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, make it just, easier. Yeah. Um, uh, Jack sort of runs up to you and he's like trying to grasp on to your sister and he looks at you and he says um he says Corey you have to decide right now you either break his hold or you don't sorry this is really hard and Krita's crying at this point, but she's like crying, and she's gonna take Corey's hand. He's like, "Fuck that! I told you I would help you." You're planning to hurt her. Trust me, Corey. I don't know. He he goes with Castile. I think he's he's too scared and afraid, and he's never felt this before, and. And he literally heard Krina being like, I'm going to exact my fucking vengeance. Like, she's planning to do something bad. Mm -hmm. And he just wants to save his sister. 
Um, and so what happens is as you you give that full sort of like permission to Castile, um, you see this light um, form from within um, your sister Elias and it grows super bright and then it suddenly is snuffed um, and her body is still there but it goes completely uh, limp in front of you. And Jack what? stops struggling and he just shakes his head. What? What? Did, what? What just happened? He goes. You fucked it up, Corey. That's I, what happened. You fucked it up. Because I could only, I could only keep her body in this realm. He's, he's brought her essence, to his world. Oh man, um, fucked it up. Corey probably falls to his knees, like clutching this body, looking at his sister, um, and he probably goes dark as hell. Cool. Uh, let's put a pin in that for a moment, shall we? And we'll go back to Donovan and Wolf. Donovan, Wolf, buddy, what's happening in the the Donovan car? So I think Donovan had just been like something, something. What about that blood? Something or another. He referenced the blood ritual and then they got in the and car. And then said, "Get in the car." Yeah. And then he goes to get in the car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and we'll 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 go into he he has like a moment of like wait, what? And then, like, and then, like, goes in the car after it. As he, like, gets in and closes the door, he's like, didn't I tell you about that? Like... And Donovan will just inhale sharply and uh, speed out of the parking lot mm-hmm. and is just going to be driving around. Okay, cool. Just driving around. No, you did not. Tell me everything this time. Don't... Don't lie. To me. You are holding back, protecting her. Why was there blood painted across your forehead? I think. And he takes a left turn really harsh. <laughs> <laughs> and Wolf just he he kind of stares at Donovan for a few moments before saying anything. And then he he looks away, kind of down at his own hands, and he's like, "It was this." weird, I don't know, symbolic ritual or something. Um, Bridget killed the rabbit. And I was not alright with that. And I, I tried to run away. And, and Chase and Tabitha were there, so Chase tackled me, and they held me down. And Bridget, like, she, she like, swiped blood across my forehead, and I was actually really scared. And why didn't you mention any of this to me? Because you I just it, mentioned sex cult. Like, this is blood killing an animal. Isn't that what serial killers do when they're young? Like, what are you thinking to not bring that up? They held you down and painted rabbit blood on your head? Yeah. Well, didn't you know? You already told me about Bridget being some weird, like. I didn't girl. know she was killing animals and painting blood on your head. Strange sex. Group. I, she I mean, was like I said, you can't get worth. mad at somebody for having sex or wanting other people to have sex or trying to be the head click. I told you she was going to hurt people. You said you were afraid she I told would. you she was dangerous. It, that's not the same. You can't just hold back like that, protecting somebody. Look, I... I was so impressed by you breaking up with her today and you're just making more excuses holding back lying to me and now you're gonna get dixie hurt gooey eyes and cooing up to her i you don't think bridget that's, noticed that's she not was what glaring i was at you in the gym that's not what i was trying to do i just i and i think at this point like wolf is like starting to tear up a little um 
and it's kind of he's like very emotional so it's kind of impacting his ability to explain things and he's like i wasn't making goo goo eyes at dot dixie i just wanted to hang out with her and i had promised her already a couple days ago yesterday i don't know how long it was out of character so um so do you and just not to think ago. about these things when was this rabbit blood ritual i don't know a also a couple days ago because out of character I also don't remember how like, long I ago. think it was Tuesday night <laughs> was it? I think okay. so okay uh, then Wolf would probably remember he'd be like I don't know it was Tuesday night we've talked midnight. multiple times and you haven't brought it up I look I know it what sounds... else haven't I heard what That's else is there literally it I told you about everything else I didn't think that was important because you know and he kind of pauses for I have a, serious a... concerns of what you think or don't think is important I like that wolf is still keeping something too what what am i keeping <laughs> no. Kyle, like her oh that's what he was thinking about saying <laughs> he, he like paused and he i think there's like this this moment of silence and then Wolf kind of gets a little quiet, and he's like, I didn't think it was important, because this is a, the first time that Bridget used to, or that Bridget has 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 killed a rabbit. I've seen her do it before, but it was, it was years ago, and she went to therapy, and she got better. She was doing it before? Yeah, back in, in middle school. It was she, you know, Why? she... Why? I don't, I, I don't know. Everyone thought she was just going through a phase. She was homeschooled. She was having a really hard time of it. She hasn't hurt anybody? I mean... Well, they hurt you. She hasn't hurt anyone. Well, Wait, they hurt you three days ago and it took you to today to kind of think about breaking up with her? I mean, they tackled me. To Who hurt down. you? What is this? <laughs> is this your dad? What? No. It's it's. Bridget really wanted to me to be there, so she had Chase tackle me, and you, you know. Just want people to like you, so you go along to get along. Let me tell you, that doesn't go well. I think Wolf is quiet for a moment. And, again, his voice is very, kind of, soft when he speaks, and he's like, Do you like me, Donovan? Like, at all? Mm. Donovan just stares out the windshield and doesn't say anything. And a few moments pass. Yeah, Wolf doesn't fill those moments of silence either. He, he kind of just, uh, he lets them be silent for a moment, then after he's like, that's what I thought. And he, he kind of like turns his head to like look out the window. Do you like yourself, Wolf? Or do you lie to yourself too? I think there's another few moments of silence. And he doesn't turn to look at Donovan when he speaks, and he says... Donovan's only rarely glancing sideways. Yeah, he's, he's like still just like looking out the window as he says... I try to like myself, but... I'm just never good enough. When sports come up, you have to focus on that, and then you go back to school, and it's... Never, never enough either way. No one's ever happy enough with you. You're always trying to impress them get them to like you because you're doing what they want you to do and you keep going along to get along and then eventually you're helping them and making excuses for all the terrible things they're doing he's really he's quiet again and he says I try really hard I do whatever I can, but it's never good enough. And 
You know Donovan. I loved her. I really, really did. And I just, I can't let this happen, but clearly she deserves better than me anyway. No, she deserves help. Or at least to be like, you know, shown some sense. I, she doesn't need a boyfriend, girlfriend, joyfriend, anything. What she needs is someone to tell her no and to not hurt anyone or rabbits or that she doesn't need a weird sex cult. If someone who actually cares about her can't convince her of that, then there's really, you, you have to walk away, but obviously we can't walk away if they're... So, I, do you think they're going to kill another rabbit at the sawmill? Like, unless she's bringing one? I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't mill? know. What? I... I know that... You know, we weren't really good together, so that's, you know, not gonna work or whatever. Well, but... your excuses aside, uh, obviously there was a problem to the relationship that, uh, you know, maybe started with having her ex-boyfriend hold you down while she painted blood on your forehead. I hope that was a warning sign then. <laughs> Wolf kind of continues, doesn't address what you just said, and he's just like, either way, we can't, whatever she has planned today at the slumber mill, we can't let it happen. I don't know if she's gonna hurt a rabbit, I don't know if she's gonna hurt a person, but I can't let her do that. <sighs> I I don't know what to tell you, Wolf. What do you want to do? Because I'm close to just driving out of this town and not coming back. I can't keep up, and everyone is just... <sighs> you know why I'm so pissed? Because of how much you remind me of myself. And I was just shocked that you'd broken up with her and just moving on. Then to find out you're lying to me about that when I was trying to help you. What kind of person does that make you? Well, I'm still looking out the window at this point. You probably can't see because his head is turned, but he's got like the slow like tears like dripping down his cheeks. Um, but you can probably hear it in his voice a little bit as when he speaks, you know, there's like that quiet waver of someone who's trying to speak very evenly, but they're crying. And he just says, Donovan, I'm a terrible person. I don't know why anyone would like me. I don't know why you would even like me, but and he kind of like slowly turns his head to like look at Donovan. He's just like, please don't leave me. I need you for this. Yeah, I, I well, need. Why do you think I picked you up? I wasn't just going to sit around playing Magic the Gathering when we needed to actually talk about a serious problem, especially once I realized you were lying to me, which did not make me very happy. I'm sorry. I won't lie to you again. I just I you. wasn't thinking. I made sure I'm fed before I talk to you just because of how angry I am. I think Wolf doesn't even like he doesn't even flinch at the like implied like what violence might have happened. Um he kind of just looks down at his own hands again. And he says probably would have deserved it anyway. Why is everyone making me feel bad about everything I say today? No. That, that's not right either. You just... I want you to promise me that you are not going to do what Bridget wants until this is all fixed and handled and she's not hurting people. Promise me. And Donovan will, like, reach out to, like, 
grab his hand, like squeeze and like glance over, like as they pull up to a stop sign and stop. And he'll like look earnestly in Wolf's eyes and like squeeze Wolf's hand. Please promise me, be better than I was. Because now this is real to me. This isn't just people having sex. This is about... I'm really worried that she, maybe she still doesn't know what's going on. I, but you can't just go along to get along. You can't make excuses. This has to be stopped. And you have to promise me you aren't going to do what she wants you to do. I think Wolf takes in a kind of very slow breath and he says look Donovan I I promise I was stupid I was so fucking stupid to think that I could that she was better that she was different you know I had this image of Bridget in my head from when we were younger but she's the only way I got better is because someone believed in me, I guess. But you have to believe in yourself. And outside of the bunny thing, which terrifies me, if she's not hurting people, there's still hope. Look, but I don't want that hope to mean you're like, oh, maybe I should get back together with her tomorrow morning before the party so we can be a cute couple. That's bullshit. No, I don't think that's going to happen. I she doesn't want anything to do with me anymore anyway so it doesn't matter but we could just go to our house we could go to our house and talk to her right now do you think she'd listen I'm a little afraid not I'm afraid she would try to hurt somebody Uh, who knows if the other clowns are around part of the reason why I was so earnest in that dodgeball game as I was trying to figure out who was already on the inn with her. And does everyone get painted with rabbit blood like you kill a rabbit? And I I don't know. That's only happened once and it Chase and, excuse me, Chase and Tabitha were there and I don't know if, you know, everyone has gone through it. I if they have, then I don't know about it, but there are Is other Donovan people... still still holding Wolf's hand, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I imagine they left the stop sign. He didn't let go of the hand. Okay, sweet. Wolf will hold it. <laughs> there... Okay, so I want to take a moment here. Sure. We will let the camera linger on the image of the two hands intertwined. I know it is not our normal way, but I want to take another quick break. Um, We've had two very emotional scenes uh, right next to each other, and I just want a chance to talk to the cast not on stream. Um, So we'll be right back. Please don't go far.
two sliders well hello everyone we're back thank you for being patient with us I want to make it absolutely clear that what just happened is I initiated one of our safety tools I felt like there was something uh, that we should talk about uh, specifically around those last two scenes we saw and how emotional they were um, one of the things that you'll find in the Monster Hearts book is they recommend that you take a break uh, uh, in the middle of your session, which we always do. We always take a little break. And um, they specifically call out that everybody should get up during this break. Nobody should just sit there. And we generally do that as well. But uh, we had so much happen after our break that I, I thought it was important that at the very least we do a check-in and uh, we decide how we want to move forward. And we've decided uh, that uh, we all feel good right now, um, especially after the conversation we had. And uh, we are going to keep going and do kind of some mini scenes um, and before we close up the night. So I appreciate everybody hanging in there with us and uh, you're all awesome. Uh, I will go back after this episode is over and, dis and look at what you talked about and judge you all accordingly based off of the opinions you expressed during that time. Cool, I'm going to take a sip of water again. That's some, that's some good water. It's a uh, tepid. <laughs> Great. Mm. Everyone's it's favorite. It's like ice in mine, at least. Goodness. <laughs> <Yummy>. <laughs> so... Um, let us, uh, talk about, uh, Wolf and Donovan real quick. Yes. Uh, Donovan, uh, we decided that we were going to sort of, uh, fast forward a little bit in that scene, uh, and that y'all were going to drive around and, and talk about things. What did you end up talking yeah. about? Yeah, I think Donovan would have, you know, grabbed or squeezed, um, 
Wolf's hand a bit further or a bit stronger and just just tell me everything. Just I need to hear everything. And um, occasionally as Wolf speaks, you know, he might ask a probing question or a leading question to try and get him to talk more about what's going on with him, how he's been feeling, you know, history with Bridget, parents, and he obviously looks angry anytime uh, the dad gets brought up, but um, he tries to mostly stay quiet and listen to what Wolf needs to talk about. Yeah, and I think um, just to explain a little how Wolf was feeling during that whole conversation is that he, you know, before he had obviously when Bridget and Wolf were first dating, you know, he was like, this is awesome, finally with my person that I've loved for a while. And then he realizes that it's not quite what he expected, but he always had this kind of hope that maybe, you know, she'll change. Maybe, you know, things will be all right. And I think he held on to that hope for a long time, uh, but he's coming to terms with the fact that maybe things won't be okay between, you know, him and her. Maybe, uh, you know, even he wolf and donovan have this you know they have this responsibility they feel to stop whatever weird cult stuff is going on uh but maybe after you know bridget and wolf won't work out together and so he's got those feelings and then donovan and his like harsh tough love is making him feel like a terrible person and like he's like really embarrassed and he feels awful about like not telling donovan the whole truth like however many days ago Mm -hmm. um so basically he just feels like a terrible person and uh which is not really an unfamiliar headspace for him to be in but uh when donovan asks at this point is not making any more excuses he's just at least you know there's i mean at this point i think he's told donovan most of what he knows um you know he might have explained a little like how Bridget was like I don't you know feel connected to you anymore whatever but even Wolf doesn't really know the whole like meaning behind that so um but yeah he's kind of defeated he's still got this whole like we got to stop this thing from happening but he's lost pretty much all hope of Tim and Bridget ever getting back together <laughs> so there's that. Okay. Yeah, and I, I think ultimately Donovan stresses first and foremost that can't be primary. It has to be, you know, making sure everyone's okay. Yeah, and, and then also page at this point also hopefully ultimately helping Bridget through whatever and it not being about helping Bridget for Wolf, about helping Bridget for Bridget, even if and then again again he might kind of like tumult over the whole hurting bunnies but hopefully not hurting people and he he's thinking okay let's try to get back to Corey and Krina hopefully they can help since he had told Krina about going to the lumber mill so mm-hmm. going back to school eventually I'm, I'm sure this conversation probably takes a couple hours of driving around and long emotional handholding words but <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, so in in the end, they they go back to the high school, hoping to meet up with Corey and Krina. Awesome. Um, so uh, that leaves us with a, a very important question from the chat, which is, is Wolf's true love still Bridget at the end of the conversation? You know, I don't think it is. <laughs> Who is it now? Um... Self care. <laughs> no, <laughs> Wolf, Wolf doesn't think very highly of himself. Um, I mean, I guess if I have to choose, it would be Donovan out of anyone. Um, if that's okay. I think that's okay. What do you think, Lumber James? Lumber James screams. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah. Uh, yes, immediate screaming. Immediate. Even immediate with the delay, screaming. it's immediate. <laughs> They know. They know. Uh, and, and, and let it be clear that, like, Wolf definitely still cares about Bridget. Like, he, you know, they were longtime friends, and uh, 
<laughs> like, he still wants to help her, mm -hmm. but again, not for him to get back together with him, like Donovan yeah. said, like, just so that she can be a better person. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think Donovan keeps trying not to associate Bridget with his sire, because obviously she's not a homicidal maniac vampire queen. Mm hmm. But she is For still now. a queen, right? <laughs> now. 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 Right. So Donovan simultaneously is like, oh, she reminds me of her, but she's not that far, but maybe we can help, but oh, this is bad, so. We can save her from herself. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Fantastic. Um, Corey and Krina. Corey, uh, you, of course, uh, ended that scene um, going darkest self, and we decided off uh, camera that we would be giving Castile a string on Corey as part of that deal that was made um, and also to help facilitate the darkest self mechanics. Um, I think that as things are sort of wrapping up in the Fey realm, emotions high, Jack will go to his sister. Um, with all the kindness he can muster. And he says, the mortal realm is your domain, but that doesn't mean this isn't your home. I want you to take care of things, but I want you to have support. Just forget about Mrs. Abel, for now. What I want you to do is just let me help. Take part of my retinue with you. They need not be visible most of the time, but they will be there to aid you when you need help so that you can get your realm under control. Okay. I, yeah, thanks, I guess. And he'll look over at Corey and he'll look at him and he'll say, this is, do what you can to help this Utterly pathetic human. I've been trying. And Corey's just, I think, clutching the body of his sister, crying. Mm -hmm. Shaking. Yeah, Corey's still crying too. Like, like there's like mascara, and, like ruined makeup kind of thing. And I think one by one, the Fae will drift off into the woods um, until uh, only three are left standing. Alistair and the two who stood with between the columns um, until you were both ready to get up and travel the Fey Road back. But before you do return, we go back to the third floor hallway and we left a small Sophomore. Scared sophomore <laughs> there. <laughs> Quite intimidated and confused by all that. Uh, Watched his brother <laughs> pop out of existence with this tiny angry girl. <laughs> mm. Right after kissing, too, and learning that this is the floor where sex happens. Just a <laughs> flurry of honey bun crumbs. And... Yes. It was glitter, confusing. Glitter and honey bun crumbs. And the smell of mushrooms. <laughs> Oh God. And uh, slowly, um, well-known football players, Chase and Mitch, come out of one of the classrooms, and followed by Tabitha and Ingrid as well. They see this confused boy in the classroom and the audience, you, you hear, you see them talking. Um, 
and uh, but you don't hear the the sound seems to have cut out it's so strange you can't hear exactly what they're discussing but you see them walk away together the five of them chase with his hand on the sophomore shoulder and soon enough Bridget who has prepared herself for this evening um, going to her car she um, gets a text message from Chase and it just says hey babe because Chase still says that <laughs> even when the GM is being dramatic it says hey babe I found Corey's brother and he's all scared can we take him to the lumber mill absolutely And the credits fade on Gehenna Valley. But you, you are the lumberjanes. You are the most loyal of fans. And so as the credits end, you actually get one more, one more moment. One that I did not even tell the cast about uh, when we took our break. Um, as Bridget is driving, She's healing, not healing, hearing and feeling her gang's emotions, getting ready for tonight. She, she knows that they're coming. She knows that they're eager. And suddenly she hears one more set of emotions. And Bridget knows that she has Dixie. Thank you for coming uh, to Monday Night Monster Hearts. Um, this is all your fault, Rob. My name is Brad. Let Dixie be Buffy, no. it would have been fine. Oh, oh you know what? Xavier was in there. Damn it. Yup. Damn it. You look so un, like unrepentant, Rob. Hey. That's I mean, Rob's good. like, shit. I enjoy happens, Magic you know? the Gathering, so. So do I. Yeah, but I mean, that was yeah, like in I chat. She was like, I played by it, the way. So. We play Magic the Gathering. I have yeah. a great black deck. I have a few announcements before we go. <laughs> oh boy. Um, you would have a black deck. <laughs> tomorrow, uh, we have a very special event a word off. here on Kahena Gaming. Letter. It should be very exciting. Um, we are playing They Came From Beyond the Grave, which sure. um, is, is not out. Uh, which should be very exciting. It is a for one now. shot uh, called. Yeah, that's right. It's not out for now. That is that is how this works. Um, <laughs> it's called Horror at Redstone Academy. So that should be really exciting. Um, Wednesday we have our regular worlds and crafts. Thursday uh, in the afternoon we have our now regular second worlds and crafts. And in the evening we'll be playing uh, video games. If you want to know more about those games maybe get to participate. Remember, join us on the Discord. Um, all other things that will be happening on the Discord uh, later will be us freaking out about all the things that happened in tonight's episode. Uh, but then on Saturday, uh, we're doing Saturday one-shots now, and our one-shot will be The Final Girl, uh, which I have heard nothing but good things about, so that should be really exciting. Um, I'm going to do a personal plug real quick, and yeah. I'm going to encourage you to check out uh, Games on Demand, um, as I know. GodCon! GodCon, that's right. We, there's a brand <laughs> new online convention happening at the end of this month. You can find out more about it by going to gamesondemand.online. It's gonna be cool games. Um, it's gonna be great. Uh, it's all volunteer be Monster Hearts. GMs. I am running a two a Monster Hearts games over the I will weekend. shank people if they try and get me not in there. And they you can uh, try to get in on those games, uh, possibly playing with K or bumping them out. I'm sorry, say that again. Natalie. I will also be running Monster Hearts games. Excellent. Oh, I get both. I'm a lucky guy. I will be running games too, but I will not be running Monster Hearts. <laughs> but I will be running something as well. <laughs> I'm gonna take an aid technique and shank ankles if people try and no, beat me there. No, that's my, that's my... Yeah, I'm borrowing. My I... move. So, so if you want to play with us slash for us... <laughs> check play out, for check me, it out. friends. Um, we're raising <laughs> money for the Bale Project and NAACP 
LDFP, Legal Defense and Education Fund, uh, through that con. So we absolutely invite you to uh, check that out. Um, it should be super, super fun, as well as it's a good cause. So, uh, and that is at the end of the month, uh, the last weekend of the month is that convention. So that should be super fun. Uh, I think that's all of my announcements. Does anybody else? Wait, I never asked. You know, anybody want to plug things? Let's plug Natalie's show. Let's plug Natalie. Oh, yeah. When does that yeah, start? Natalie, Natalie, plug your show. My new show, August nineteenth. Oh, my birthday. Uh, <laughs> uh, six p.m. Pacific is going to be Return to the Moonlight, nice. a Glitter Hearts actual play on Off the Table. Okay, so Follow check them out for more information. Yeah, check out that too. Yeah, it's on our Twitter. You can find it on Natalie's Twitter and on our business Twitter. Yeah, yeah see, see all Person these Twitters? Twitter. Time Person Game. Yeah. It's not my Twitter. It's, it's our business Twitter. I don't do Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and also, Twitters speaking of birthdays, oh. everyone in the chat should tell Natalie happy birthday because this yeah, past Friday related. was his birthday. That's right. There's a lot of Orgus. Or There's a lot of Orgus birthdays. Orgus. You know, I Orgus. thought you were going somewhere else with that. I was going to say Orgus. Orgus. I was like, mm. <laughs> Hey, hey, sweetie, what are you? <laughs> it's been a long hey. night. August, August, it has, it has been. been. August babies. We were talking yes. about that earlier. How it's been a long week uh, for our characters, but I think it's been a long night for everyone. Um, so I think I'm here. with that, I mean, all Bridget did was get a knife and some ropes. <laughs> A Sounds boning like she's knife for a good time. That's it. As someone who has used a boning knife, I am scared. Uh, Very nice. Good night, oh. everybody. Yeah, good night. Everybody wave. Holly says good night. Good night, I'm Holly. Bye. Bye, everybody. We uh, we love you. Bye. Love you. Mm.